What's up, guys? We're about to start. Let's put this thing in here. Make sure we can see. Make sure we're live. Need to pull this up so I can see my chat. Okay. Then we need to silence this. Lead pin chat got it. Top chat. What do you give me on live chat? What's up, guys? We're live. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. You know, I think there's a five-minute delay, so the stream won't start for like five minutes. But if you can hear me, because I just changed some microphone settings. Okay, let's go sign up here. Day 1C. Register. Register. Yeah, not busting in a third hand today, guys. What's happening? I just changed my microphone settings, so make sure you guys can. Can somebody say if you can hear me? I'm assuming you can hear me. Guess I can pull it up on my other computer in a second. I can hear. Okay, uh, Johan can hear me. What's up, Scotland? Lou is young from Scotland. Christine, Christina Albert. What's up, everyone? How are you guys? Collab with Rug again? Yeah, we, we actually had just talked to Rug during the Phoenix Suns game because his brother is a big Suns game fan, and I'm a big Suns fan. So, um, yeah, we, there's going to be more collabs coming. What's up, Derek in Florida? Facebook. Johan Meskiaren, AKCC, Ich bin er. That must be like Danish or something like that. <laughs> Sounds better. Hello, chump. Hello from Wales. Yes, we hear you. Awesome. So, guys, we're going to give away money again this stream. I'm going to talk, talk about it a little bit later. So, when we get the stream going, when is the tournament starting here? Uh, in two minutes, this tournament starts. Two minutes, we're playing poker. That's too bad you're not a streamer and play like Puck. I'm pretty sure you can make some money too as well for streaming. Just a thought. Um... Yeah, I, mean, I just don't have time, guys. I'm used to watching your TV, not from Facebook. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> What's up? Oh, Netherlands. Okay, Johan. Hi from Arkansas. So you guys cannot hear the other audio. You can just hear me talking, right? Right now, that's this back screen. You cannot hear it because I turned my desktop audio off because I play these long poker sessions and sometimes I just like listening to music. So, but then I always get the copyright strikes. What's up, Fred from Canada? Wow, lots of Facebook people in here. Yeah, it should be about five minutes delayed. Goodbye. Thanks. One minute and 15 seconds. Tournament starts. Play poker now on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. Key West. Mike Gonzalez. I always wanted to go see Key West. Watching from City 40. I don't know what that is. Watching from Dena, Demo. What's up, Vance? 58 seconds. So we're going <clears> to <throat> hide our cards. We're going to give the giveaways on YouTube. So if you want to win, you got to be on YouTube. Because uh, <clears throat> we have a better live chat there. <coughs> <coughs> What's up, Travis in Iowa? I've been to Iowa several times. What's up, Storage Bandits in YouTube? If you want to win, you guys got to have an account with America's Card Room. So go to America's Card Room, sign up, use bonus code Renee. It's absolutely free. I don't know if Shrike is coming in. Somebody said Poway. Crazy for Mopa. What's up from Poway? Kansas City. What's up, Kansas City? Orlando, Florida, Poway. The Caribbean. I love the Caribbean. We've been to St. John, I think. Ohio. What's up, Ron in Ohio? All over the world. So you guys sign up. Um, America's Card Room bonus code Renee. Okay, let's get this big here. There we go. We're in action. Bonus code Renee. It's going to be in about a five-minute delay. Oh, actually, no. We don't have a delay. We don't have to delay on. We have life. We're just covering up our cards. What's up, Arthur? Sarah Ellison. What's up, Sarah? So Shrika might be in. He's going to help the moderate. I'm not sure if he's coming in today. Hey, Lady Antiques Treasure. She's going to help the moderate too. Um, I'm not sure if Shrika's coming in. I have a chance to talk to him. Hello, first hand, big blind. 
I'm doing good. Do we have a new shop? No, we never opened up a new shop yet, so we just sell online right now. We're really busy with other projects. Bless the world is crazy right now, so it's okay to just kind of take a break. I do miss the store, though, to be honest. I mean, it's obviously a lot of work having a store, but uh, <clears throat> I do miss it. First hand, 3-8 off student, a big blind. We're going to have to fall. Can't even defend. Now, guys, this is going to be a PKO tournament, so which means every time you knock out a player, you actually get that bounty. Um, I'm giving away 10% of my total final cash out king, not the bounties. But what we added this time... Um, oh, crazy misses the store, too. Thank you, North Carolina. What's up in Spain? So what I'm going to do every time we knock somebody out, which hopefully happens a bunch... I'm going to give instantly away $25 to somebody that's just live and watching. What's up, Coley King? So it's going to be 10% we're going to give away from the total payout, which is going to get split with questions again. We'll start a little bit later. What do you get for the bonus if we use the code? I don't get nothing. I'm just a brand ambassador. So it doesn't mean if you use it, you just show support to the stream, to the team, to Bargain Hunters, and you show support to America's Card Room. But it's not like I get like a payment or anything like that. Money make a cash at 4K and a ticket for the 23rd. Nice. I know I was going to have to text message him. Um, so, but I, I don't get paid like a payment if you sign up or anything like this. I'm, I'm a brand ambassador. I have a like long-term contract with them. Uh, if you go to americascardroom.com, you'll see Chris Moneymaker and then it goes through the different players and you'll see me as the second picture. I'm just part of America's Card Room, team, part of the team brand ambassador. What's up, Portugal? Poland. What's up, Tomish from Poland? Oxnard, California. What's up, Oxnard? So, but yeah, I don't get, like, people always think every time you sign up, I get, like, a payment or something. Nah, it doesn't matter. Make a difference. He had two rebuys after his name. Yeah, like, um, Chris fires a lot of bullets. So this is my second buy. There's a small chance I play Sunday, but I don't know. Uh, I'm also going to be out in the World Series in Vegas, so, um... You guys, if you're in Vegas, uh, come play. Come say hi. I might have some... Uh, let me turn this volume up a little bit. I might have some ACR little stickers or stuff with me I'm going to give out. We'll see. I have to arrange it with them. It's been a crazy year, right? Uh, let's do a min-race here. Thanks, lady. Hallo aus Deutschland, Melanie, wie geht's? Ich hoffe, alles ist sehr gut. Damn, good morning from the Arctic Research Center at the South Pole. Are you serious? Nah, he's playing. Really? Yeah, no, WSOP should be good. Suzuki, Brazil. So he already played the first hand. We totally whiffed on that one with Fold. How much is this buying? It's twenty six hundred. Ah, feeling good, Melanie. This buying is twenty five hundred. So what are we gonna do, guys? Whatever the final payout is, not 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 the bounties. We're gonna give away ten percent. That ten percent is gonna get broken down. Uh, uh, Midnight wives. That's a really nice message. Let me block you here so you never see this channel again. I use on this channel. Goodbye, Midnight Nights. That was a really nasty message. Um. Your messages will never be seen on this channel again. Hide user on this channel. Goodbye. There you go. What's up? Leaving June 5th for the World Series. Returning Ju June 2nd. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet when I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go like sometimes the first week in June. I am pretty, pretty busy, Ron. Thank you. What's going on, Jim? Um, so yeah, this Midnight Wives guy left a really message. message. I mean, he, he obviously wants attention. So, but that's the great feature on um, Facebook. So we just hit him, and um, let me see. Uh, let's report him for. There we go. Okay, and then like so, that's a great thing about Facebook. You just hide him once, and now he can participate in a channel, type a thousand messages, support the channel, but it'll never be seen. That's sweet and giving. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Carrie Scott? So yeah, so we're going to break whatever we cash out. We're going to give away 10%, and that 10% is going to get broken up into 100 shares. We're going to do the same thing. Can I send you $10 to PayPal? <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. 
Uh, oh, where's my, hold on a second. I just closed my chat by accident. Okay, there we go. Not much, buddy. Arizona, what's up, Dave in Arizona? 2600 ACR game this early? Yeah, this is Venom. This is their flagship tournament. So, it's actually 2650. Someone told me you're doing something right if you hate haters. Well, I must be doing a lot right then. It's all about how you rebound. That is true. Hello from Holland. What's up, Holland? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, <clears throat> some people just, they have mental issues. And then if you're in the public eye, they feel like they're entitled to contact you with dumb shit. But we just usually block them. I just had somebody send me like a long ass thing on Facebook. Or, no, not Facebook, Instagram, what I need to do. I'm like, okay, dude. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's why I have good friends. Smith and Wesson. Lots of security. But it's okay. It's all part of the gig. But, um... <clears throat> anyway, so what I'm trying to say... We're going to give away 10% of the total payout, which, you know, probably would win by Wednesday. Oh, is that... Um, what's her name? She's an ACR pro. Cinnamon Party. I don't think that's her. Well, actually, it must be her. Yeah, she's an ACR pro too. I forget. Her. I always forget her name. Who remembers her name right here on the top left? She's one of the ACR pros. Let's look really quick. See, so here's Money Maker. Here's me. Drew Gonzalez. This guy's funny. Great poker player. Let me see. Oh, what's hot support the community? I think I remember her name, but I don't want to say the wrong name in case I'm wrong. Then I look like an idiot. Epony Kenny. Okay, that's her. So she's a bro. She's part of the team. Why are you gambling? <clears throat> well, that's Ebony. Okay, yeah. What's up, Troy from Florida? Um, why am I gambling? I play a lot of poker, so... Uh, I mean, I play poker all the time. Poker is part of my life. Actually, you know, um, you know, you guys know I don't consider myself famous, but I guess I'm famous. But Casey, I was used to think that I'll be... Uh, Famous for poker, not for, um, not for like anything else. So, but their life just took a funny turn. Why can't we see your cards? Because I have my cards covered up. This way we have a live stream. The problem if I don't show my cards, see, I have my card blocker right here. Oh. I forgot I'm not an OPS. I have my card blocker right here. If, um, if, if I don't cover up my cards, then I got to put the stream on a five-minute delay. And then it's really hard with doing the giveaways. I make solid business decisions. <laughs> Any future breaks, Maricela? Uh, you talking about, like, sports cards breaks? Did you win anything yet? No. What's up? Shriker's in the house. Shriker, 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 my right-hand man. He's always helping with these streams. And the Lady Antique Treasures, of course. So, Shriker, we're going to do it different. So, let's say, it, let's, say, let's say it again. In order to win, you have to answer the questions on YouTube. Because this way, we all have them on one platform. We can see the fastest, okay? Make sure you're in live chat, not, not top chat. We're going to give away 10% if we cash out anything. If we cash out anything, we're going to give away 10% at the end of the tournament. But that does not include bounties. It's actually just a placement cash out. Okay, that 10% is going to get broken down into 100 shares. So we're going to ask trivia questions, and that's usually good for like two shares. 2% 2 off the 10%. So if we win 10,000, we're giving away 1,000. And if you get one trivia question right, there should be about 40 winners. That's going to be worth like 20 bucks So because you get 2% of that, right? Um, but we're going to do a bonus this time. Since this is a BKO tournament, if we bust people, every time we bust somebody, 
and we do earn a bounty, we're going to give away $25 right then and there to somebody that's live on the stream. What's my opinion about the Ukraine? I don't want to get into politics, homie. Uh, I don't even know why I just said homie. I guess that's just... Don't you know in America now, with politics, no matter what you say, you can't win. Somebody's always offended. So people are way too sensitive about anything. Um, the only thing that sucks, there's a war going over there, and I, it's sad to see for the kids and for people and for older people. That sucks. Now, who's right or wrong politically? I don't even want to get into it. I am going to the World Series, yes. Going to a new cell tomorrow, 10 minutes before anyone else get to World Series. Oh, that's nice. When's the new storage was coming out? I think it should start in the fall. I don't have an exact date. Yeah, so it's a $25 bonus when a pound is taken. And I, I am going, Michael, I am going to the World Series. What's up, Ted? Aloha, aloha, aloha. So I guess let's do a tweet. So and then usually when we do tweets, those are good for 5%. So let's get that started in a second here. Um. Okay, let's go. We'll do a 5% Twitter giveaway. Basically, um, what you have to do, you have to retweet the tweet. You have to like the tweet, and you have to reply. And that's going to be good for 5%. So if we win $10,000, if you do that, that'll be worth for 50 bucks alone. <clears throat> so let's go to Twitter. Oh, you know, I just I just showed, I, remember, I just realized I didn't show you guys Ebony. I was on the wrong computer screen. But let's go Twitter right here. So we're going to do... We are live on at America's Card Room. We're live on America's Card Room. What's that right there? Oh, AC of Poker, America's Card Room. Streaming the Venom. Let's do this. Hold on a second. I'm going to ask you guys this question in a second. Venom, Poker tournament and given away cash on hashtag YouTube come join us channel body hunters thrift let's go storage wars storage wars Poker. Let's see if I have an ACR picture. Maybe do a winner and Casey picture. Casey workout now. Winner and Casey. I think it's the right one. There we go. Tweet. Okay, so you guys gotta this tweet should be up now. So you guys gotta like it, and then later on when we bust, or uh, actually today would if we make it to the second day. If we make it to the second day, because I'm not sure if I'm going to buy on Sunday. If I buy on Sunday, then all your bets still be live. So you have to like it. You have to retweet it. And you also have to reply, let's go hashtag America's card room hashtag ACR money making time tweet. So if you do all that, you qualify for the 5%. We're going to give that away sometimes later. All right. We didn't miss a hand, did we? Nope. Hey, we got a playable hand in late possession. Let's see what happens. What's up, Brazil? You have so many comics from your grandpa. Can you just bring them in? Well, they might be worth a lot more than 200 bucks. But if you're serious, send me a message at Renee at Bargain Hunter Thrift Store. Send me some pictures. Renee at bargainhunterthriftstore.com. Send me some pictures. They might be worth a lot more than 200 bucks, though, just so you know if they're from your grandpa. It sounds like, you know, I mean, Silver Age, Golden Age. But I'll buy. But, you know, if they're, I'm assuming your grandpa is older, they would probably be worth a lot more than 200 bucks. Biggest online cash? Uh, Shrike, correct me or not, but wasn't it like 17,000 or so in Venom? Last year we played the Venom four times, we cashed three times. Shrike could probably remember. I feel like it was like 17000 
I'm waiting for you to buy the locker that's full of baby formulas and PS5s. That'd be funny. Oh, no, I mean, I wouldn't resell baby formula right now. If you resell baby formula, you probably get crucified. But if somebody at Division, I was reading the news a month ago and buying up a whole bunch of that baby formula. Okay, I'm going to lay down at Jack 10. Jack 10, the clubs. If you had Division and bought baby formula a month ago, stockpiled, you'd be making a nice profit now. You know, people say that's not defined, you know, I mean, there is baby formula out there, you just gotta pay a premium, unfortunately. Yes, everybody, you just gotta smash the like button, let me sma smash it too. Thumbs up, like button, ace 10, jack 9. He had a better 10. So he's betting the whole way, but second best pair like he has, so that's good. I love it, people are much more aggressive in these PKO tournaments. So can I bring the comics on? Email me some pictures and then we can get together. This, we don't have to store right now. But, I mean, I don't think you're serious anyway. But uh, if you uh, if you are serious, I'll buy it. Sorry, we get a lot of trolls in these live chats. But yes, I can buy the comics from you. But it sounds like they would be worth a lot more than uh, $200. What do you think or what not? You mean off what not? Move to another table. All right, where Ace 10 that hand we just kind of left. What's my online store? It's on eBay, Bargain Hunter Thrift. Here we can go look at it. Mm, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're playing a hand. Okay, we're not playing a hand. Close this. Go this. Uh, eBay.com. You know, people always tell me that eBay doesn't make you money. Hold on, playing a hand. I uh, would ace ten suited that we raced there. And people come in spamming our channel. Funny. All right, so eBay store. See, like we've only listed like a little bit of Lego. And we're still doing like, you know, 6,000 this month. And I really haven't listed nothing since, um, haven't listed nothing since May. What's sold? Oh, that's a shirt that's sold. But, um, let's see. Sell a store. There you go. Right now, if you watch the videos, we just did a bunch of Lego stuff. What do you guys think about the Lego stuff? Oh, thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. We sold several of these already. I mean, we actually sold more than expected because I really didn't expect these to really uh, sell until like the fourth quarter. So a bunch of Legos is the most recent stuff. I would buy most recent. Toys. Different collectibles. But you can go online and check it out. Halloween stuff. Kobe's. Hallmarks. I love ornaments. Nobody ever puts much value in them. I buy whole boxes usually for like 40, 50 bucks and you see what we sell them for. They sell all the time. Obviously during Christmas the best. This was a great score. If you ever see this on yard sales, Prius. I had like hundreds of pieces. I'm down to like, I don't even know if I have 10 pieces left. And they still sell. This was great too. Seven of this one. Playmobiles. Slower seller, but they sell. We had other ones too that all sold. These I made a lot of money, and I found this box in the store. These trains right here, and you know we've been getting eighty to one hundred and seventy bucks a piece, and they're just wagons. Power supplies, that was a deal. Video games, coins. I still have some of those. So what's up, Jim from New York? 
Yeah, the Lego stuff was awesome. Huh? I had fun with that too. Pricey Legos. Yeah, Legos is expensive. I mean, you there you're only paying because it's sealed and packaged. So if it's loose, like it loses like 70% of the value. Storage Wars always talk crap about Christmas stuff, but it's expensive. Not all Storage Wars, some storage buyers. I love Christmas stuff. If you have good Christmas stuff, it's worth a lot of money. Okay, let me go back to Twitter just so we don't forget. So guys, if you're just joining us, this is going to be the first 5% we're giving away. 5% of the 10%. And the 10% is broken into 100. So it's like Sarah did it, like Lady Antiques did it. Like P Patrick did it, but he did it wrong. He's supposed to say, let's go America's card room AC on money making time. You got to reply to the same thing. <clears throat> and that will be announced usually at the end of the stream. And then throughout the stream, we'll have trivia questions. We'll probably do the first trivia question, um, I don't know, next 15 minutes or so. All right. Now, I think we got all the business done. If you guys haven't signed up, go to America's card room because you have to have a username in order to win. So go to America's card room. Um, minifigures are awesome. So very tempted. Well, do it, Marcella. Buy one. I have, some, I have some cheaper ones. I have those little bags out there, which are cool. But I mean, you know what? Only buy it if you want to. But yeah, minifigures are cool. I like minifigures too. <clears throat> I like all the night little sets. I think those are cool. You guys, if you watched the video, did you guys see what my f favorite set was with all the little knights? It's like listed for 500 bucks. I'm not surprised that was good. Several of those boxes have minifigures in them, by the way, too. We're blind to Duck Cooper. He's not paying attention. Um, I am paying attention. What, what is your question, Jackie or Duck Cooper? But remember, I got Twitch going. I got Facebook going. I got Twitter going. And I got YouTube going. I'm getting questions everywhere. Plus, I got to do the promotions that I need to do. Plus, I actually need to play this $2,600 buying tournament. So I am paying attention, but... I can't catch every question, so if I if I miss a question, just uh, say it again, or eventually I'll see it. Hey, what's up, Miss Lovely? Hello, hello, hello. So, um, yeah, I have four chats going, actually. So I try to answer all the questions as fast as I can, but um, if you have a question, just go ahead and ask me again. Also, make sure on YouTube, that's where the cash prizes will be. Make sure you're in live chat and not top chat. Still waiting on the truffle shuffle one day, okay? That's kind of weird, but whatever you say. Yep, and I'm playing poker, and I'm doing giveaways. Mm, move to another table. Yeah, we're getting moved to a lot of tables. <laughs> Busy guy, what's up, Madisonville, Tennessee? Did you get a free buy-in? Uh, I get paid to be an ambassador for America's card room. I didn't know until a month ago you into sports cards. What's my favorite cards I have? So the cards I like the most, I, I really like vintage stuff. Um, let me see if it's down here. Let's see. Let's look at some sports cards. What's up, Kentucky? What's up, Duck Coop on Kentucky? Okay, guys, we're going to do a giveaway in a few minutes. Um, so when I do investment in cards, investments, I don't do um, cards because I think I don't think that's the best investment. Most of the stuff I invest in is um, sealed product. Oh, these are all DeAndre Aitens. The only cards I invest in more... Um, just tweeted, thank goodness I just got on bad. <laughs> that's awesome, Tony. Can't go all in yet. So, uh, and also, guys, so once four or five, me four or five messages pop up, um, I don't see the other one. So if I miss you, just ask again. What's up, Joshua? So I buy a lot of these cards, Panini 101s. So you see my camera's like a second behind. Yeah, I'm a big-time Dolphins fan and Phoenix Sun fan, which that really worked out. Um, I like vintage stuff. I like stuff from turn of the century. I got some really cool ones. I know, Merle. I, I know. I just have those those comic books been sitting for like three years. But you know, the good thing is they probably doubled in value. I had somebody that was going to buy 10,000 Silver Age for me without like the killer graded books. 
And we almost put the deal for, um, I think, 200000 But then he was kind of lagging, so I was like, yeah, I really don't care about some. And since then, they probably doubled in value. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get to this down here. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. Damn, that's not safe, having a big old knife just laying there. That's actually a combat knife, too. Where's my key card for that? Don't do this at home, kids. Okay. So I picked these up at the Mint Collective. Do I ever come across spots in America's card room? Uh, yeah, I mean, I know they're combating and bad in the life games. But, I mean, it's hard. People don't realize, you know... <laughs> They, they, these bot people, they constantly change stuff. Um, I don't play too much live. I've seen it before where I question it, but, you know, I mean, look, guys, it's part of poker. Um, post them, you get your money at least. Yeah, I eventually we'll post them when I get some free time. You, you know how much stuff I have? I mean, if you watch the channel regularly, you know how much stuff we have. We have crazy amounts of stuff. So I picked this card up. I thought this was really cool. I only paid, like, 40 bucks. This is from Germany. It's 1933. And Max Schmeling. So hopefully you guys can see this good. Hopefully it adjusts. It's graded. I mean, it's a low grade. It's a six. And it's... Uh, oh, yeah, the light is kind of... I guess you kind of... Yeah, I love America's Card Room, too. I mean, that's... But trust me, you don't think there's pots and poker stars and full tilt... As a matter of fact, I know there's pots and, pots and poker stars. And then also people collusion. It's part of, I mean, it also happens in life games. Some of my best money I ever used to make in poker. Um, let me show you my favorite card in a sec. Some of my best cards, money I ever used to make in poker. I used to play at the Bellagio 1530 limit. And there were always these teams out there that would try to team up against people. And uh, But it was really easy to see what they were doing. So I just changed my playing styles to pretty much going for like suited connectors. And then get two to one for my money. I think this is my favorite card. They're all beautiful. So I got a whole stack of these back here. These are all 1908, uh, actually 1912 TO2 cards. Also said he's not a bot. My dad is doing good. Tur yeah, Turbos are great. Especially you play single satellite tables and stuff a lot less than that. You have it more in the, in the games, um, the cash games. Thank you, Merle. I appreciate it. What's up, Manfred? So this is probably one of my favorite cards I have. And I, got, I paid like half price for these. It was really good. I paid it a mint collective. I think I bought six or seven of them. Oh, actually, here, seven of them. And um, the guy sold them all to me for eight fifty. I looked them up on eBay. I mean, I could throw these on eBay and probably get around 1500 to 2000 So that's why I say there's always deals out there. You just, you know, got to have money to spend it. And actually, these are pretty, um, they're not that easy to find. So I like these. Oh yeah, Jordan rookies are good. I, I so if you go back to our old videos, I bought a Jordan rookie in a PSA nine for like I think twenty two hundred dollars before cards exploded, and I sold it the same week for five thousand, which was kind of max price at the time. I'm doing good, Arthur. Thank you. Yeah, no, playing poker is awesome. America's card room side is awesome. They have fun games. Okay, guys, we're about to do a giveaway. So if you haven't signed up yet, you got to be in our YouTube chat. And make sure you got an America's card room account. We're going to give away two. So we're giving away 10% of whatever we win. That's going to get broken down into 100 shares. So we're giving away two shares right now. Yeah, no, Merle. That's, that's good stuff everywhere. You know, people just... um. Hey, let's ban this user, this naked HD. Let me see. Put user... Oh, no, he's hidden. Let's report him, too. There we go. Okay, so I don't think his chat comes up. Let me get some trivia questions ready for you guys. Man, I'm talking the whole time. I don't even feel like I play poker yet. I'm just kind of grinding it. So give me a second... Block that guy, Renee. I, I did block him. I think he is um he's blocked. Make sure you guys are live chat.
What's up, silver hair stacker? Okay, that flop, we have possibilities. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of trolls. That's part of it. It is part of it. Striker got the striker got it. Rise and grind picker. Did you guys see my yard sale video we put out yesterday? What do you think of that? I I really don't have time to do yard selling, but Tatiana's really into yard selling now. And uh, what's the YouTube channel's name? It's Bargain Hunter Thrift. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a chance real quick. Go to americascardroom.com, sign up, download the software. Um, bonus code Rene, R-E-N-E. -E. You have to have a... Uh, oh, cool, author, 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 thank you. Um, you you have to have a uh, um, ACI username within 30 seconds when we give you the prize in order to qualify. Rise and Grind, I liked it. Awesome. Cool, cool. Yeah, the yard sale videos are cool. I, I kind of like doing them just to prove a point because a lot of people always say there's no money out there. There's lots of money out there. What's my favorite score of all time? Um, hmm. Oh, I, I know what it was, but unfortunately back then I was broke. Sucked. I wish I would make that score. Actually, you know what? I have a lot of good ones now that you asked that. So way before, you know, like right when my daughter was born, I bought a 10 by 20 in Vegas for like $3,300. It ended up getting me in a war with one of the biggest buyers out there because he felt that that was his area and he wanted it so I shouldn't have bid on it. But I just came from San Diego and it was cheap and San Diego would have been triple the price. And basically, the whole 10 by 20 was full of Star Wars stuff. Like, all brand new inboxes. Um, it was crazy. But because back then, you know, my daughter was just born. We didn't have that much money. I just sold everything on eBay for, like, the lowest possible price. Sell it fast, you know. We put up these command vehicles out there. People were asking 400 I put them up for, like, 275 because that's what they were selling quick for. Sold all five over the weekend. Um, just pretty much sold everything fast. Not even over a weekend, overnight. I think overnight time, we did, like, $10,000. Um, so that was a really good one. Uh, then obviously the comic book quarter house, which has lots of videos out there. We bought a painting one time. We paid a hundred bucks for the room. There was like, there was like, um, we sold the painting for 50,000. The welder, the welder room. I talked about that in the past. That was great. Uh, you never been broke. <laughs> How long do you know me, Arthur? Well, I, I don't, I don't say broke, but. You know, back then, now now my philosophy is, and I tell people all the time, you know, like the Lego, I could put all that stuff up for auction. It would all sell within the week and probably get six, seven thousand dollars pretty fast. But I can also sell it slow over the next year and get thirteen thousand dollars. So, um, so my my philosophy now is to rather sell it slow over a year and get thirteen thousand dollars. Where basically in the old days, I rather just get the quick seven thousand dollars. But now it doesn't really make a difference. You know, it's, uh, you know, if I can go over the next year or even if it takes two years, if I earn $13,000 or a quick $7,000 and I don't have to do any extra work, that's how you really build wealth. I tell that young people all the time. I mean, sometimes, look, uh, in Rising Brian Pick, I'm sure he can tell you because he says the same thing. And I don't care how successful you are, we all start out somewhere. Um, in the beginning, maybe you need to slow money just because you got to keep that money turning. But eventually you learn when you always go for that fast money and just keep it turning, you're always kind of playing that catch-up game. So I even tell beginning buyers, to like, take some of the stuff and turn it fast that you need to, but take a couple pieces aside and just try to get top dollar. And then keep on working yourself up where you just keep on getting that top dollar, top dollar, top dollar. And all of a sudden you'll see, like, um, you know, I don't even know what we made this year on eBay. We probably made... Let me see if I can see. I'm pretty, you know, and I'm also pretty transparent with our numbers. People, I was like, oh, you shouldn't show that. I'm like, why not? I don't care. I, I barely listed anything since November except for the Lego. And actually, it, it could be that um, it, it could be that we just listed the Lego. Oh, sorry. It could be that the Lego is the only thing we listed. Let me go to sales. Let me see what we did this year. And like I said, the only thing we listed, um, hold on a second, I got it. So some people get mad that I show my numbers, but like I said, I don't care. So the last time we really listed was November, and even then we didn't really list anything big. <coughs> and we did $53,000 this year, that's including sales tax though. And then last year, we listed a little bit more, let me see. 
Last year we no, actually last year we didn't barely did anything either. We didn't really list. The year before we did more. And last year we did seventy eight thousand. So the year before we did sixty eight percent more. So I think we almost did two hundred thousand dollars the year before. <coughs> and I'm not listing because I just don't have time to be honest. So, I've been watching since your first appearance in the show. Okay. Yeah, so on the show, I've always been good, yeah. Gotta watch the Rise and Grind guy. He's probably a multimillionaire, just not telling. <laughs> I do okay, I do okay. You gotta be smart with your investments, yes. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna sit on a Lego step for sale. I just wanna get a good price, you know, what I'm happy. Yeah, you're right. Not not small time gifts that not all buyers are checking every day. You're right, and a lot of people don't want to buy auctions these days anymore. They just want to see something, and they want you to give them a price, and then they want to buy it or not buy it. Nine five offsuit fold. So um. So yeah, a lot of people don't don't want to do that. You're upset that I'm doing better than me. Don't be upset. Just get mad and kick my butt, and I'll, I'll work for you. Don't be upset. So. Uh, how much is gas? Gas, uh, I think it's around, I mean, honestly, I never pay attention, but I think it's around six bucks. Just, you know, in California. Yeah, I mean, I sell stuff all the time. Like, I mean, I tell you guys those test tubes that we sold for the water samples. They were listed for a year and a half, and then somebody bought them all for $3,000. It just takes time. Just list it and be patient. Don't be like a crackhead that you have to move it right now, you know? So. Yeah, five years. Yeah, I have stuff on my eBay store for five years, I'm sure. I mean, but it's okay. And then it, it's funny when it sells all of a sudden, you know? So. All patience, all patience. All right, let's do a trivia question. Shrika, what do you think? It's time for trivia. So, guys, make sure your live chat. Whoever we see as the first answer, it has to be on YouTube. Whoever we see as the first answer, that's the person who gets that first 2%. Again, we're giving away 10% of what we win. That's going to get broken up into 100% and 100 shares. Each trivia question is a minimum of 2%. If you haven't done the Twitter, like, retweet, and reply how we did it, that's 5%. We'll be giving out at the end. Got to have an ACR username. Yeah, so I wish I could show my cards, but then I cannot have this life interaction with you guys. So, And in the past, people always voted they'd rather have the life interaction than seeing the cards. Yeah, trust me. I've done both systems. I've done the quick flips, and I've done the long term for top dollar. And ever since I've been doing long long term for getting good money for my stuff, I make way more money. I used to get dealers in my store and they get mad that I didn't want to wholesale. I'm like, well, I gotta make money, and you know, a lot of times those guys want to pay about a third of what um what it's worth. And if it's a really good guy, he'll give you like half. And I'm like, why should I? Why should I give you ten thousand dollars worth of stuff for half? Why? I can take that stuff and spend a day, maybe two days, and pay myself an extra five thousand dollars. If I do that ten times a year, that's fifty thousand dollars a year difference. So, yeah, Shrika, he's right. Uh, be be ready to uh, give us your ACR name right away. Oh, Shrika, I just found a really cool card. I found a nice Patrick Mahomes rookie somewhere. Probably like a couple thousand dollar card, too. So, um, yeah, so I just wait till I get paid. Yeah, I mean, North Carolina clearance, it's okay. Like I said, you work yourself up. But I tell other storage buyers all the time, if you need the money quick, call me. I'll buy it. If you can't afford to wait and you have you have a big collection, you know, I have up to a million dollars available at any given time. Am I sending this one to you? No, Shrike, not this one. Sorry. I already sent you one. But this one, no. So sorry. I think it's a couple thousand dollar card. Same way I have to get it graded. Do you want to see it real quick? And then we do the trivia question. Well, Arthur, yeah, so ever since I've been in Storage Wars, so luckily I had my success way before Storage Wars. But when I say my broke days, this was like... I don't know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. So it sounds like you know me for about 10 years. All right, let's show Shrike a cool card because Shrike is a big Patrick Mahomes fan. Even though we got Tyreek Hill now. Uh, live chat, you got to be on YouTube and just uh, so on the top right. Um, let me put it over here real quick. 
to show you guys. See in the top right here, it says live chat. We'll call. We'll check. Let me get this back over here. Oh no, we got a hand we're playing. We got a hand we're playing. If he bets fifteen thousand, we'll call. Queen on the river. We're just gonna check. He bet 38,000. Obviously, we're going to call. I mean, if I had more glory here, I, I would race. But we're going to play conservative. I mean, he's betting every streak. So you could have ace, queen, ace, 10, ace, king. I have ace, jack. We're just going to call. Hopefully, it's good. Ace, king, shit. Whew, lucky we played that conservatively. Mike's cutting out a little bit. Is that for everybody? or? Let me go check my thing real quick. You know, I'm, I pushed it to the side. Maybe that's one, two, one, two. I think now you should hear me. Damn, ace jack into ace king. Hold on one second. Uh, hold on, let me mute my mic for a second. Hello? This is an important message from ADP. Oh, okay, I must have just hit it. Sorry, guys. I I, I moved the mic for a second. Hold on a second. I get all, I'm almost. Damn, did you guys just see that? Luckily, I didn't race that. Saved some money here. Sorry, my windows just got all messed up. Okay, we're back. Yeah, I was moving around. Sorry. Damn, ace jack versus ace king. Luckily, I didn't check race this fool. We had ace jack suited. Also, his clubs on the turn would pick up a flush draw. <sighs> well, you know, we could have been busted here, but we didn't. We played it conservatively. A lot of people would have went bust with that hand. We check. I raised the pre-flop a little bit on the button. He checked the flop. I checked the flop. Let's see what's happening here. He checks. Let's put in a $6,000 bet. 6,000 chips. He called. He checks right away. Let's bet the pot. Raise me, come on. I'll take my chances with a raise. He folded. We flopped. We had queen nine. We flopped the straight. I'm not crazy about the turn, but... Yeah, that's hard to fold, Miss Lovely. I mean... Well, I didn't even bet the ace check. I just had a bad feeling about just checking, call, checking, call. All right, here you go. Uh, let's, let's try striker crazy. That's his rookie card, 2017. Prism Illuminations. Actually, now I'm going to send this off to get graded ASAP. Which hopefully, it's like a 9. I don't think it's going to come at 10, but it's super minty. I just found that in a box. I think that should be around at least a 1000 to $2,000 card. Let's send that in. Looks like cracked ice, too. All right, trivia time. Let me find a question. Uh, thank you for thumbing up the video. I appreciate it. It was clear. Yeah, it's hard to see because it's like a cracked ice type of cards. But you can look it up on eBay Illuminations. Let's find a trivia question. Um, give away 2%. Ah, yeah, I was happy. Flap trip aces can win. Ridiculous.
that's interesting. Okay. Here's a different question. Oh, yeah, I got a soft sleep on it, Penny Sleep. Super Bowl next year, Shriker? I, I hope you're talking about Miami. I mean, Patrick Mahomes got some good receivers, too, but I think losing Tyreek Hill is definitely not good. What's up, Black Belt Poker? Love the show. Thank you, thank you. Go Cowboys. That's one of the teams I just saw an article on ESPN where they were talking about it's one of the teams that's going to have a hard time, supposedly, but who knows. I don't like losing either, but we needed some D. Yeah, and then we also got the other Kansas City guy, Melvin Ingram, which I was surprised Kansas let him go for that. Okay, guys, here's a trivia question for 2%. The fastest answer in live chat now, remember, sometimes on your computer, it might look like you were faster, but that's because it's on your local. You see it locally typed first. Me and Shrike are the judge what, what a fastest answer we see first in chat. Okay? So, um, we are the final ruling. No arguing. Remember, we do this for free. We do this for fun. We want to have fun. Miami's doing great this year. I'm from Miami. Yeah, I think Miami's going to do good, so I hope so. Oh, and at the worst series, I'm probably going to bet like $1,000 on them to win the Super Bowl. It's, I think like 40 to 1 odds. Um, Maybe I'll do a giveaway if I do it. Anyway, um, so me and Shrike are the, the judges, okay, guys? I'm the first judge. Shrike is the backup ruling judge. Well, if I'm not sure, obviously it goes to Shriker. Shriker. Here's the trivia question. How many countries still have shilling as currency? How many countries still use the shilling as a currency? How many countries still use the shilling as a currency? I hope so, Beast of the East. North Carolina says two. That is wrong. 24, no. 25, no. One, one, four countries. One is the fastest. One, Tova. One, Tova, what's your ACR name? Juan Tova was the fastest with four. Maricela. Maricela, I love that name. She was um, um she was second. Juan Tova, what's your ACR name? So that's our first winner. So he gets 2% of the 10% split into 100. P.T. Piper. P.T. Piper. P.T. Okay, well, now if we cash something... It's going to get broken into, it's going to get 10% of that and into 100 shares. You got two shares. Good job, Juan. We'll do another trivia question in a little while. Remember also, if you're live, if we bust somebody live and we get any kind of bounties, we'll give away $25 immediately. Also, so like you guys been talking about cards and stuff. So obviously we have a lot of card fans in the chat. We're going to do a video probably this week sometime um, where we, we got a bunch of Metasu stuff in. Do shill bidding countries count? <laughs> so we're going to do a Metasu video, and we're going to give away prizes on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and probably Twitter. So we'll give away some free packs. So you guys might want to make sure you watch that. We'll give away packs or starter decks or something. <coughs> No, Maricela, one was first. See, that's what I just explained to you. Um, On your computer, it probably shows that you're first, but that's because you're typing the answer on your local system, so it's faster than we see it on a network, but it counts how we see it. And you guys were really close, but he was ahead of you. And look, I can even show you because now I have the screen over here. See, this is how we look at it. Uh, where's the answers? So how it pops up on my screen. So that was the answer. It's 2, 24, 5, 24. And then here's the first four. You see one. And then you were right under him. So one was the first one. And then Sarah Ellison came in third. So it, 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 it counts how it pops up on our screen first. Since you see your local screen and you will always see your local chat faster, 
you will always see yours first. Lucky. Yeah, you know, after I asked the question, I figured it's so slow that people are just going to type in some numbers anyway. Okay, Arthur. Thank you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, man, I just missed a hand. Oh, I was in a hand, too, at ace high. Okay, when the break starts, I'm going to go take a stretch my legs break real quick. Wow, an hour in already. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you just have to get lucky, right, in life? Did it show what won that last hand? Did they have a showdown? I timed out. That was not good. I'm busy talking. Oh, I didn't show. You just won with a bet. Okay, no showdown. All right, guys, I'm going to stretch my legs. We'll be back in five minutes. Um, as soon as the break is over, we'll give away some more money. Shriker will en entertain you with some nice river dancing. He loves doing that. Um, I don't know why I say that every time, but it's funny to me. We'll be back. Here, since we were talking about carts, uh, since we we're talking about carts, all my cart people still here? What's up, Tobias Vigets? So, I just show you two carts that I'll probably pay too much money for, but I just took a gamble. But carts are kind of going down right now since everything, uh, since, uh, since everything is kind of going down right now because the markets are crashing. But that's okay. I mean, I'm okay with the markets are crashing because I got a bunch of cash I want to put into the market. But I want to put it back on the low point, obviously, not on the high point. So, um, and you know, for the ones that are losing money in the market, remember, you only lose if you sell. As long as you don't sell, you're fine. If you have it invested in solid companies, they all go up again, usually. So this one right here, I think it cost me, um, I gotta look it up. Let me see. I'm going to look it up over here really quick. I want to tell you guys the right prices, but I'm not going to do this one on screen. Because I don't know what account info is shown. But these were actually bought through my account. Hold on one second. I'm kind of mad at Panini. I mean, I got a Jay Moran signature. It's been like a year and a half, and I emailed them a couple times. They don't even reply. It's like... Hate their redemption crap. Am I gonna buy more algo? Um, so we actually sold all our cryptocurrency right before it started going down a lot. I mean, it started went down a little bit. Uh, I will buy more algo, yeah. So I I still like algo a lot. I'm just waiting to see where the market goes right now. I think everything with housing. I think housing is a bubble. Stock market is super high. 
Um, yes, we are able to sell a gun, Chris. We'll just go through a gun dealer and have them do all the background checks and paperwork. Usually, if I find guns, I just have them give it to a gun dealer and have them do the background checks, the paperwork, and then I put it in my name and I keep them. Yeah, smart striker that you sold everything. Yeah, so I'm I'm waiting for the pullback. I don't think it's at the bottom yet. Um, it's okay, Giovanni. So now you're on YouTube. Um, we're gonna give a, do giveaways the whole time. Uh, I, I said it a few times though, but don't worry about it. We'll say it again. Um, I mean, I still love crypto. I, I just think it's gonna go lower. So I cashed everything out. I'm gonna rebuy it. So the money that we took out, we just left sitting in Coinbase. And as soon as where I think it's at the bottom, we'll just put it all right back in. California with an online gambling bill on the table for June primaries. Basically, sports betting, but the local casinos somehow in this. You know, it, it's so funny that we're allowed to bet on sports, which is a total, like, you have no control. But we can play poker, which is in our control, right? It's like, you know. But here, so for all my uh, card people, Casey's downstairs right now. So I bought this one, Justin Fields. See, my I have a quick delay, so I'm going to hold this up for a second. Hopefully, I can see it on my screen. And then I can adjust this. I mean, Claire, I know it's it's Claire. It's a Justin Fields patch card. Let's put it up a little bit, maybe. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's a one on one, and it's a three color batch Chicago Bears, 2021 rookie cards. A one on one. I paid sixteen hundred for this one. So I had this card of Joe Burrow. I think we got like so. That's when Joe Burrow unfortunately got hurt. So we only got like four thousand for the Joe Burrow. We paid sixteen hundred for the Joe Burrow back in the day, and then we paid three thousand for the Justin Herbert, and we got seven thousand for that last year. And I bought this one; it cost me two thousand or twenty one hundred with the tax. She's not here right now; she's downstairs. So uh, we got this one, Trevor Lawrence one hundred and one, also, and that's also a three color patch. One hundred and one. And on these, it's actually um, it's game one. So this is a game one rookie jersey. Actually, they just say player one, not game one. So I paid 2100 for this one. How come this naked guy still can't put messages up? We already blocked him. Let me uh, unhide this channel. Let me hide, hide user on this channel. Okay. Could you guys still see his nasty messages? Oh, he's using different accounts. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's using different accounts. God, you, you think that, you know, you guys, oh, no, 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 I wanted to call. Damn, I missed another hand. King 10 suited. Okay, I got to pay a little bit of attention to poker since it's $2,600 online. <sighs> okay, I just blocked him too, so. We are life. We are life. Damn, missed a good hand. I got to pay attention. I mean, it's not a great hand, but. Defending the blind king ten would definitely will. All right, gotta get a little bit aggressive. We lost a third of our stack with that stupid trip aces. So make sure you guys go to ACR bonus code Renee. Have a username. This way you can win some money, hopefully. And, you know, if you're a spam out there, so you keep on spamming my channel for the girls and stuff like this. I get it. But have some self-respect. You're literally spamming with eight words in a link. Put those eight words in a correct English sentence. I mean, um, it's embarrassing. Okay? If you spam, make a proper sentence. It's not that hard. Google will help you. You obviously know how to spam. You know how to make different usernames. You know how to get on sites. Have some self-respect for yourself. Everything you do in life, try to do it good. Don't do it like an all messed up English and say, oh, I don't speak the language because I'm a spammer from who knows where. 
you can still spend a little bit of time on Google and learn how to do a proper sentence. I guarantee you, if I want to spam in Russian, which I don't speak, I'll figure out how to put a proper sentence together. Have some self-respect for yourself. Maybe that's why you're a loser and all you have is spamming because you're not willing to put any effort into anything. Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. Have some pride in what you do. Ooh, Axel, season 13 starts? Nice. Season 13, nice, nice, nice. Is, hey, Axel, is that um, is that French Storage War still going on? I know France had their own spin-off. Yeah, I like Dave. I mean, D Dave, I mean, we definitely compete and he has his issues, but I respect him as a businessman and he's an okay guy as a friend. He's a nice guy, you know, I mean, you know, it's part of the show. Well, ask a native speaker or go through Google. I mean, just it's just put a little effort into your work. I mean, it's funny. Like, no matter what you do, have self-respect and just do it good. All right. Let's see. We got a flop here. We called. I think he made a 5,400 pre-flop. We called on the button. He checks. We'll check. Turn card is a queen. Darth Invader from Lithuania. He checks. Let's bet the pot. He folded. Damn, why can't I get the guys that steal? We had 9-10. Good flop, perfect turn card. What's up, Cleason News? How you doing? No sweat, no sweat. They are kids I am room. Maybe they are kids. I don't know. It's just... Even if you can, have some self-respect. I started working when I was 11. Have I ever been in Australia? Not yet. I would like to see Australia. Except you guys got those crazy-ass spiders. And pretty much every animal that kills you is in Australia. But no, I would like to see Australia. It looks very beautiful. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I watch nothing but storage wars all day. Both days on series and I love the show. Thanks for watching Beast of the East. I hope you watch our YouTube videos and Facebook videos. That's twice now you flopped the nuts. Didn't flop them, turned it. But I didn't get action on either one of them. But even if even if you make a pot, pot program for spamming, have some respect. Somebody puts it together. What's up, Liz from Nashville, Tennessee? My main man moneymaker is out in Tennessee. Now you know I do, my friend. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I would have gone big on the ace-ace jack and lost big. Yeah, you know, I just had a bad feeling. Ivy's good. I haven't talked to Ivy in a couple weeks. I actually need to give him a call. What's up, Seattle? Charles Maggers. <coughs> yeah, I could have lost a lot more money in the trip aces, so we minimized our losses on that one. How many people are playing there? Like I like I usually don't like playing Friday as much. I usually like playing Sunday. Two hundred five entrance is kind of low still, but it's okay. And this is a really good knife. My bench made knife. I wonder where my sheet is for that too, though. I must have moved it somehow. That's a dangerous knife. I cut myself a couple times. I love to see you shop at Ivy's again. Yeah, we gotta go out there and make a buying trip. Monster spiders. Oh, yeah. You ever seen those videos in Australia? Like, they got, like... I mean, they're not dangerous, supposedly, but big old spiders and crazy crap. Uh, let me see if I find the picture. I think wolf spiders or something, right? Let's see if I find the image. Yeah, uh, here. This is why my ass is not moving to Australia. Watch, I'm going to show this to somebody. He's like, Renee, that's just a meme. Let's see if this is real. No, this is not real. Where's the picture? To go? Okay, here, check this out, guys. Okay, you see that spider on the wall on the top right here? And then over here, she has it in here. Heteropota jugulans. 
That is... Oh, you know what? It's not a real... That's not real. He said the guy's saying it's fake. Oh, race. But I did see something where it's like crazy. I don't know. Hunters, man. I don't know. There's some big spiders out there. I'm not a huge Spider-Man. I got a black widow bite on a foot. Took nine months to heal up. That's crazy. Hold on. I'm in a hand. I raised it. Everybody folded. Okay. Ace Jack suited. Shrike said bench made one of the best. Yeah, this is a really good knife. Size of small dogs. Australia has opal hunters. Love those shows. Like they came from Chernobyl. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I'm not a huge snake guy. I'm not a huge spider guy. And then even in the water, they got all the crazy jellyfish and sharks. Afghan spider is a camel spider. It's about the size of a small dog. Let's look this up. That is crazy. I'm sure I got Black Widow's bites before, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, here's after this American soldiers. But I don't know if they're real. Well, I'm looking at some pictures here. I don't know. That's crazy. Camel spider. Like I said, not a huge fan of spiders. What's the most I won in a poker tournament? Um, probably here, Venom, 17,000. I usually am more of a cash game player. All right, John Wick, do good job on your exam. If you guys haven't joined ACR yet, bonus code Renee. We're going to give away more percentages in a little while. Oh, they are real. It eats your body away. That's crazy. But I'm assuming it eats your body away like if after you died, right? It's not going to start eating you while you're sleeping or some crap. You can't play poker because you're way too slow. <laughs> That's funny. Why are you way too slow? You just have a hard time making a decision? All right, let's defend the big blind. Suzuki, he was another team. He's like pretty much in every hand. He raises a lot of hands and plays post-flop. He bets. It's raising. He bet the turn. We bet the river. He folded. We hit the ace on the turn. So that's good. That was a nice side pot. But I know he plays a lot of hands. So I tried to bluff him on the flop. He called. Ace comes on the turn. Have you ever bought into Bellagio in Vegas? Would be great to see you. Yeah, I play Bellagio sometimes. Can ACR work all over the country. Just go to americascardroom.com. Download the software. It's absolutely free. Use bonus code Renee. It eats it away fast. You have to get medical attention pretty fast. That's crazy. Well, luckily I'm not planning on going to Afghanistan anytime soon. Oh, another spam in the house. Okay, the red hat and put use in timeout. What's up, friends, right here? Facebook? I think tomorrow we might go yard sale looking again because Sadiana's really into it. Maybe we'll do another yard sale video. It's funny, like, how much money is at these yard sales? Like, I forgot. It's so easy. Those trains we didn't buy is, like, one of the last things that we bought. We bought them, like, at, I think, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. They were just sitting right there. And the guy was only asking 100 bucks a piece. I'm like, at 100 bucks a piece, I'll take 500 if you have them. 
You know, they're great. O scale MTH. If you haven't seen the video, check the yard sale video. It's our latest video on. Oh, we just had a pop up through Rail ACR team, Jeff Bosky. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, never put boxes in your bedroom from storages. What do you mean that's a lot of money for yard sales? So, like, I made a lot of money or I spent a lot of money? It all depends what you buy. I mean, whenever I go, I hope to spend like 20, 30 grand, you know, because that means I'll probably triple my money. Jack Seven Suited Fold. What's up, Kathy from British Columbia? How are you? Oh, yeah, Vin Julian. So, yeah, every three hours, there are free roll tournaments that pays your cash. So, you can play for free in America's Card Room. Download the software, bonus code Renee. Oh, yeah. No, that's why you're right. That's why it's sitting there because people don't want to spend a hundred bucks. But I might, I mean, if I see something on a yard sale that brings an eBay 300 and can buy it for a hundred bucks all day long. Uh, I'm going to three bet this. Frank Shaman made it 6,000. I'm going to make it 16,000 basically. And we don't just see the good items and aren't scared to pay the hundreds. Exactly. Yeah, I'll pay thousands. I don't care. Like, you know, I sent a video. The guy was funny. I was touching the toys first. He's like, son, that's expensive. I'm like, okay. And I pulled out a pocket. I had like $5,000 in my pocket. I'm like, I got money. And then all of a sudden, he really liked me. Okay, we're going to see about this. 16000 again. All right, I'm going to check. We have pocket nines like the worst possible board here. Uh, check. He called me with a eight. I three bet him. He had a three outer. Okay, okay, okay. Renee makes business dollars, not cents. Would I ever buy a rough opal? I wouldn't because I don't know enough about that stuff. Okay, that guy raced again. He he, he bet earlier with ace eight. So now he made it 6,000 again. So we got to re-raise him again. Thank you for sharing all your info. I used to do a lot of garage selling and auctions, but never lock it. I'm retired. Need to supplement my pension or maybe try to get something going. Yeah, just, you know, put the effort in. It's fun. I mean, if you retire, it depends how much you can move. Probably yard selling is the better way, way to go. Well, I hope he doesn't have ace eight again. We'll check. Went all in. Gotta keep on running into numb nuts players. All right. Earlier he raced ace eight under the gun. Called with top pair with an eight kicker. Check and check. Now he made a small race. Called twenty thousand pre flop. I got ace king with the ace of clubs. Obviously, I'm not gonna call here. And now, like this betting doesn't make no sense. He bets twenty seven thousand and is all in. Who checks to flop twenty seven thousand? It's like such a such a fish. All right, I'm going to fold. 
I track out our bams our banners banners banners. Our warehouse is located in Carlsbad, but it's not open to the public. I didn't save all. Um. He tried to bluff me this time. We called Craft Up Guy. We made we had the A7 suited. He had nothing the whole time, betting the whole time. Oh, yeah, this America's Carbon was really nice software. The truck locker scared the crap out of me. It didn't scare the crap out of me. I mean, I want to be careful, obviously, with druggy stuff, but um, um. It, but it didn't scare me. I mean, we just left all the weed fine. It was about 10 pounds of wheat. You know, people were like, um, <clears throat> people were like, oh, you should have taken it. It's legal and stuff. I'm like, I have nothing to do with it. I don't care if it's $100,000 of weed. Just no interest. But no, it did not scare me. I find much worse, trust me. So we just don't we just don't mess around with it. I have no interest in drugs. I could find a million dollars worth of cocaine, I just call the police, so I'm not I'm not gonna try to sell it. I find pills all the time, Xanax and um just a friend of plenty of, like just different pills, you know, where people um it's legal and kind of, so yes the it's legal on the local state level. It's still not legal on the federal level. And also, there's people that can legally sell it, but you have to do very certain things in order to do that. You cannot just go to the swapping and start putting on a table and sell weed. You know, you cannot just start. I mean, pe people always leave that information out. I love the randomness of your channel. Always super entertaining. Thank you, Craig. If it's super tried out, almost worth it. See, I don't even know the difference. I, I just know there was a lot of it. Some of it looked dry. Some of it looked like things in the class show i just wanted nothing to do with it. it's just not my thing you know same thing with the pills whenever we find the pills we just turn it into the police they got like a drop off spot where you can just drop off the pills or we leave it in a locker for trash so <coughs> so that's it I have certain things that I, you know, I, oh, you know what? I don't see my live chat for some reason here on my, hi, it's a swap meet. Yeah, it's just like, let me reboot this real quick. My chat froze over here, I just noticed. There we go. Yeah, so Sarah is involved in that industry. And same thing, She has, she's a medical caregiver. There's a lot of rules you have to follow. So when, when, when people uh, thinking um, it's just legal, it's not just legal. Oh, the pie comments were great. So we'd spend, um, I forgot what we spent. You guys seen the video. I think we spent like 60000 And I sold them the next day with, um, so the way that deal worked out, we sold them for 80000 just for the helmet. So we probably had another couple thousand dollars worth of other stuff. Um, we sold them the next day, but we had to hold them for the guys for like 30 days. But they gave us a forty thousand dollar cash deposit of a wire, uh, of a wire transfer. 
So, you know, it's also legal in Virginia Beach, but there's a certain amount of each person can have in the possession. If they have more, it's a felony. Exactly. So, what's up, Sonia? What's up, uh, Richard612, San Diego? So, there's still a lot of rules you have to follow. So, I just want to have nothing to do with it. You know, I, I don't want to have 10 pounds of weed in my car. <laughs> I just don't. That stuff went to the trash. Oh, drug. I mean, yeah, you know, people always tell me, you know, it's just weed. And I'm like, okay, if that's what you're into, like, I don't judge. I don't care. But I can tell you one thing. 90% of the lockers we buy, you usually find some kind of drug paraphernalia most of the time. So probably not 90, but probably like, well, probably 90% of the lockers that are being sold, not the ones that we buy. Please put together videos A to C and how to be in the storage and other buying option business put on YouTube and charge a subscription fee. So, Tor, we have a lot of videos like that. Um, we, we have a lot of videos like that. Um, just got to follow on YouTube. So, And we also have live sales where we talk about eBay, yard sales, storages, but I don't charge for them. I think it was Barry's old locker he forgot. If that was Barry's, it never would be around that I would be smoked up. Yeah, a lot of AA stuff. You're right. So there's a lot of AA stuff, uh, alcohol anonymous. Um, it is sad. So, But like I said, I don't judge. You know, The one thing I love about America is that we all have freedom to choose our roads as long as you don't hurt anybody else. What's the worst thing I found in a locker? I mean, drug paraphernalia. Oh, the worst one, we bought a locker that belonged to a pedophile. A lot of pictures and stuff like this. Um, one of his own daughter and like he was coach of a swim team. Um, and, uh, I told that story before, so we bought that in Vegas. We didn't have a lot of money. I think I paid like 12 or $1,300, maybe $1,500. We called the police and, you know, they sent like three investigators out. It was a big deal. And we ended up donating the entire lock in its entirety because they were going to go through everything piece by piece. Also check for fingerprints. The guy was great. He left copies of his driver's license and, uh, social security card. Um, so I donated everything so they can just go do whatever they need to. I, I lost like 1500 on deal. But yeah, that was the worst. I was really upset. And th that was a lot of money back then to me. This was like over 20 years ago. But I was like, yeah, just take it. Put it in the evidence. Whatever you need to do. And uh, the storage locker company was like, well, if you donate it, we're not giving you money back. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Just uh, they're going to need a few extra days with it. But they're going to take it all. And uh, yeah, that's probably the worst I found. If I were to meet that guy, I probably would go to jail for a little while, county jail, because it, it would be an ass whooping. So, that's the worst. And then you know the other usual stuff, you know. PTSD pro. I hope you don't have it. So, but like I said, everybody, you know. Yeah, thank you, lady. So, everybody has their own thing. If you smoke pot and it works for you, that's your choice. I, I don't judge. I don't care. I just don't want to do nothing with it. But I don't judge. Everybody has their own walk to live. Own, everybody has their own walk to walk. I guess. Oh, yeah. No, we called the police and, you know, we just turned everything over. They didn't believe me at first. They didn't think that's going to be in a storage locker. And I'm like, yeah, yes, all this identification is here. Uh, there's pictures here. I mean, pictures I don't want to see. Um, you know, then and then what was really bad, then it was like all the regular, just normal pictures. I'm like, well, these are the same girls. So this is not some kind of internet porn for you. This is somebody that's actually doing all this stuff. Yeah, that's, you know, sometimes people contact you about the locket. That's one guy I wish would have contacted me. It's like, can I get my stuff back? Yeah, come meet me. <clears throat> It's my it's my PTSD. Yeah, that that locker. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I don't like it. It's not a happy camper. So, um, but you know, stuff happens. I'm sure that guy got in big trouble eventually. Next time he got pulled over, I know he moved to California. That's when I lived in Vegas. So, I'm, I'm sure next time he got his traffic stop, he was in for a big surprise. Hopefully sitting in some jail right now being having a roommate that makes love to him every day. Because that's what he deserves. 
I hate pedophiles, you can tell. I don't even like talking about it because I get really mad. Anyway. Oh, yeah, no, to me, like, you know, people that hurt children like that, um, you know, even though I'm Christian, that should be instant death penalty. No questions asked. How much was spent for trash fees? Not that much, actually, Tor. I mean, we have our warehouse, so we're getting containers that get emptied twice a week. Um, no, that's $2,600 buying jars. I know I should be paying more attention. Uh, what's the saying? But uh, a lot of the lockers that we buy these days are better lockers, so I barely ever have dump runs. So... Um, yeah, I don't really pay anything. Uh, Venom Tournament is $2,600, but they have, like, all kinds of satellites. I think they have satellites starting at a dollar for it, then it goes up, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know, Lady Antique. This, this was, like, almost 20 years ago. I don't even think... No, my daughter was born. She was a little baby. And that's, I got really mad that day. <laughs> I think I might have told the manager, call the guy if you have a contact information, see if he wants any of his stuff back. Tell him the buyer wants to meet up with him. That's probably the closest that I, I got to lock it. I couldn't land him in trouble. Because I had a little girl and that was not really good. Um, It's like $6 over here. In some, some areas over $6. Yeah, Vince said same thing. Yeah, oh, Vince is from San Diego too. Yeah, so I think uh, like cheap gas in San Diego right now. I think Casey just paid. Uh, she said five eighty at Costco, and that's usually the cheapest gas in the city. Hello from Point Loma. Um, nothing that we're filming in San Diego right now, but it's on A and E. We have stuff in the past. Oh, actually, there's some Oceanside stuff coming up. In, in the new season, there's some Oceanside stuff. I wasn't at that auction. Damn, five thirty for Washington. Oh, that's that guy again. So he checked the flop. He bet the turn. Now he's thinking a long time. He bet 16,000. Let's raise him. Called Ace Four Ace Seven. We chop. Damn. All right. Oh, here's Alabama again. Four forty in Virginia Beach. This guy raises fourteen thousand. I have to buy cats, gas at the casino to use safe money using my player's card. I had ace seven, Matt. He had ace four. I made trip aces in the river. But this guy plays a lot of hands and bets a lot. So I figured I was good here, but he had ace four. How many places pay typically in a venom? It's um like two or three hundred places. It's pretty good. Fold. You can't beat the ace. Uh, should we do another trivia question? Oh, we got another playable hand. Hold on. We got a hand we can defend in the Venom. Hit a big blind. We're going to do another trivia question. So make sure you guys are on our YouTube chat. And then make sure you have a... Um, make sure you have a ACR account. ACR username. Bonus code Renee. Call 
We'll check. Penguin Ashika. Or is it from Austria? An Österreicher! Sentimental from Russia is in the hand too. Oh, I didn't see you call preflop. I should have raised preflop, maybe. I don't know. Let's raise it a little bit. Let's see where she's at. Penguin, check. She calls. Let's check. <sighs> we win. She had pocket jacks. We hit the ace on the river, luckily. We had ace nine, so we had top top. She called the check, raise only. Then the turn, the queen comes. Then she bets. We called it. First time over starting stack, so that's good. Am I ever going to open my store in Poway again? Uh, we might do a store eventually again. We'll see what's happening in life, but it definitely won't be in Poway. Are you ever contacted by the owners of units bought and then buyers' names open to the public? No, the names are not open to the public. Um... Did you just say mute it? Yeah, that must be you, Shriker. I think my sound is good. Let me check. Yeah, no, my, my sound is good. That's you, Shriker. Oh, it's not me. Okay, it's Twitch. Okay. So, uh, no, the names are not open to the public. And do we get contacted by people that lost a unit? Sometimes it happened a couple times. Um, but that was just contacted. They usually were at the auction. Okay, we'll see you soon, Cleason. Twitch went offline. I know, restream is so bad. Let me see. Let me see if it's all of Twitch. No, I still see my, my, the Twitch feed. That must be in your end. It just must have went on your side. Oh, no. Maybe it's frozen. Oh, back up. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I just checked too. It was frozen a second. So, um, what were we talking about? All right, so I'll give you guys the opportunity now, if you have any storage worth questions, fire away, or any questions in general, I'm going to answer, and then we're going to do another giveaway. Family heirlooms? Um, no, I mean, not really. You Usually when they contact me, one time a lady called, she goes like, hey, I want all my personal stuff back. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Um, number one, want is pretty hard. That's not the best way to negotiate. We bought everything legal. But just so it makes you feel better, we left all the pictures at um, the pictures and personal documents we just left at the storage facility. Which, by the way, I don't have to do. Sometimes facilities request it, but I, I don't have to do it. Damn, we have Jack Ada Spades. Should have called that box. Um, so, uh, so this lady calls me. She's like, I want all my personal stuff. And she was like really rude right away. She, she thought that the best way to get something for me was by being really rude and aggressive. Um, and, uh, then she goes like, and I want my Coca-Cola collection. It's personal. It's my personal collection. I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. You can buy it back. Or, and she's like, and I want my son's, uh, Hot Wheels collection. That's personal too. I'm like, yeah, personal is pictures and paperwork. And we give that, we give that back out of goodness of our heart. We don't even have to do that. She's like, well, I'm just going to inform you. I'm going to let you, I'm going to sue you. I'm like, okay. And this happened several times already. She's like, I need your information. I'm like, I'm not giving you anything. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I don't have to give you anything. If you like to sue me, you already know my phone number. You can pay a lawyer that does the research. He finds out my information. He can start sending me a lawyer. Then we'll send a then I'll send a letter back with my lawyer confirmation. And then he can send a letter to my lawyer to get it started. So just to get that started, it's gonna be two, three hours work for him that he's gonna bill you. So if you have a halfway decent lawyer, it's at least five hundred bucks an hour. So um you know, go ahead, spend $1,500 just to make contact. And then you can start going from there. 
Renee, you and your family are extraordinary. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Can't have 25 windows open. I only contacted one person in 25 years. Oh, yeah. Every time I do contact somebody trying to do something nice, it always backfires. Every single time. 9-7 would have had a straight draw. Uh, people are... Yeah, people are ridiculous. You know, I, I used to do it when I first got into business because I felt more bad for people. But then I learned really fast that people usually lose their stuff because there's a reason most of the time. Yeah, they can't pay for lawyers, so it's just like that. Most people that threaten you with lawsuits have no idea what lawsuits cost. So, like, you know, my settlement on our store, when we did the buyout agreement, we didn't even have any kind of lawsuit or anything like that. We just had lawyers negotiate terms and go over letters and rules and do all that stuff. That cost me $30,000. Talk about the famous fight between Dan, Dave and Dan over Mary. Um... Um, I mean, I don't know what, what, what you want me to say. I mean, both guys were wrong. You know, Dave was wrong. He shouldn't have talked trash about the way Dan does his business because you just don't do that. But we are filming Storage Wars, so I get it. Um, but both guys were wrong, and it's sad that it happened. I thought actually Storage Wars was done at the time. People think that's fake and staged. I'm telling you here, on my daughter's life, that was 110% real. The flow drill, yeah, we got his stuff back, and you know, a lot, lot of his other family stuff uh, actually contacted us. Al Joyner, and uh, <clears throat> you know, they were like, "Oh, he's a mean guy. He's gonna try to bully you. Send it to me." And I'm like, "Well, number one, we don't send nothing for free. I spend a lot of money on my st uh, stuff myself." And I was very hesitant with Al actually at first because you know, other family member said he's a bully and stuff like this. But, um, you know, and I researched him, too. He didn't seem like the kind of guy. He's not really involved in lawsuits. He was only involved in one lawsuit that I could tell, and he was being sued, and he actually won that. And then we talked on the phone. I was being very cautious, uh, but he was actually super friendly. And, um, you know, I told him what I paid for it. I told him what I need to get for it. I told him what I thought it was worth. But I said, hey, if you can pay this, we'll get it back to you. We'll happy. And... Um, he was super nice, and he did everything he said he was going to do, and I did everything I said I was going to do. It was a super easy deal. He was super nice. We actually ended up having breakfast with him. Super nice guy, and we are friends to this day. He actually called me two days ago, and I had to return his phone call. Uh, you probably will see him in some future videos, um, in some future videos or something like that. So um, super nice guy. We got all his stuff back. Do I ever do online auctions? Yeah, I look at online auctions all the time. What's the most expensive lock I have bought? Um, okay, uh, most expensive lock of probably, and I'm trying to top of my hand. I'm thinking a live box, I think I paid 16000 No, I bought those two baseball card lockers for 23000 The video's up there too. Yeah, we can find the video. Oh, yeah, the locker nuts. Yeah, I'm really good friends with Jack over there at Locker Nuts too. We always talk about collabing. Let's see something real quick. YouTube. I'll show you guys the most expensive locker I bought. But we don't want to miss a hand either, so. Damn, we flopped these some good draws. We're Jack Seven of Spades this hand. Yeah, Shriker just put up the um eBay store. Um let's see baseball. No, baseball storage wars. Storage wars. Super No, one second. Too many videos online, I don't remember it anymore. But yeah, I think it should be most popular up here. Oh yeah, right here. So it's at the most popular. So this is the most expensive locker we have bought. Storage wars, we just bought two lockers for twenty-two thousand dollars. <coughs> so if you want to see the most expensive locker there you go that's the most expensive locker sorry i gotta get back to my cards did we see the run out the last hand yeah locker that's been killing it so but the hoarder house we bought for twenty thousand is better to be honest we have three 10 by 20s packed with boxes we never even looked at and then you know hundreds of thousands of dollars in comics <coughs> Let me see something. Okay, it was over in the turn. We didn't see the spade. <clears throat> K 
Okay, I guess we can do another trivia question. You guys want a trivia? Is everybody signed up to America's card room? Let's do Let's give away another 2% again, the way it goes. Have I talked to Jeremy lately? No, I haven't talked to Jeremy in a long time. I think they're just doing their own thing. You know, I don't chase people. You know, they buy the houses and they have uh, all that stuff going on. But I hope they're doing well. All good. Okay, so here's one that knows history. It's super easy. So this is uh, something that will hopefully help you with uh, beating the fast Googler. So somebody who knows this can actually win this question. Oh, you know, let's play this hand. Then we do the... I'm going to defend the blind on this one. Let's see a flop. <sighs> so again... Whatever we get from the final payout, we're giving away 10%. It gets broken down into 100 shares. This question is worth 2 shares, 2%. And then whenever we bust somebody, 3-bet, uh, okay, I have ace-5 as base for 3-bet, we fold. Whenever we bust somebody, we're going to give away 25 bucks if we get the bounty right away. So a really easy question. Who was the first woman pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic? I want first and last name. Who was the first woman pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic? Who was the first woman pilot to fly across the Atlantic? 2% question. John McPhee won. John, John McPhee won. Amelia Earhart is correct. John McPhee, what's your ACR username? We had ace five, so we would have outs here. What's your ACR name, John McPhee? All right, the rule is 30 seconds, so we'll give you 30 seconds. you got to know your ACR name. If not, we'll ask the next question. Guys, you you have... So, Stephen, the, the questions have to be answered on YouTube. Uh, we don't roll it. We ask another question. So I'll give you like, here. hold them or fold them. Okay. Oh wait a second, that's not it. Nice try, Giovanni. Let me get my time out. I tell everybody in advance, you gotta have, you gotta have your ACR username. You gotta have an account. Yeah, I'll you make a stopwatch. Okay, I'm gonna give you thirty seconds from now. That's the rule I say it a million times. I gotta keep it fair. You gotta go to America's card room. You have twenty three seconds. So we actually give you a minute and a half. You gotta do the username in advance. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. I'm gonna give you a bonus five. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, sorry, John, you lost it. We're going to ask that question again, something else. So that 2%, uh, uh, you know what? He just typed it in. All right, we'll give it to him. We'll be nice. Type 156. Guys, we actually gave him like a minute and a half. The rule is 30 seconds. Have you used the name? I'm going to give it to him. Type 156. So it's okay. Type 156. Have you AC? Okay, we got it. We'll give it to him. Type 156. Have you AC? Oh, man, I just missed a hand. Shit. That's 27. Obviously, we can lose that. Um, have you ACR username ready? Okay. Have you ACR username ready? Make sure you have a registered account. We'll ask another question in a little while. So that's good for 2%.
two percent of the ten percent. So the ten percent gets split into hundred shares. I say it a million times. You know, even though I say this like fifty or sixty times, there's still a guy that always goes in and well, you didn't explain that. He put no, we gave it to him, Lady Treasure. We gave it to him. So there's always somebody that still gets mad. It's okay, John McPhee. It's fine. So you want it, we got it. But I just like I try to keep the rules pretty strict because no matter what, I get judged anyway. Even when you give away free stuff. It's funny, do you guys see how many people on the pot video when we just like on Facebook it had like a hundred thousand views or so and people were like, there's no drugs in there. I'm like, just watch the whole video, you can find it. It's people that just don't want to watch the video and then it's just like it's funny. So John McPhee, so the way it works, John, since you just locked into the stream, if we win ten or ten thousand dollars, it's only the final payment, does not count the bounties. If we win ten thousand dollars, we're gonna give away ten percent of debt, which is a thousand dollars. That thousand dollars gets split into a hundred shares, and you just want two shares of that. So two percent of a thousand dollars would be twenty bucks. You would win, and we send we pay you through ACR. Also, every time we bust somebody, if we bust somebody in a tournament, we give away twenty five dollars right then and there for the uh, bust out. So you watch the stream, you can win all kinds of money, and you know, I mean, ten thousand dollars. That it's a smaller cash. So let's say if we win the million. We would give away $100,000, and then that question would be worth $2,000. So, either way, you're having fun. It's free money. You're hanging out. Hopefully, I can answer some cool questions for you guys. If you guys don't have an account yet, go to America's Card Room, sign up, download the software. It's completely free. They have everyday free roles you can play. And then use bonus code Rene, R-E-N-E. No, I do not get paid for the bonus code. I'm a brand ambassador. I get paid no matter what. Uh, I don't have to give away money. I, I do that. I don't even have to stream the tournament. I do that because I know a lot of people like it. And it's an opportunity for me to give back to the channel, to our user group. So uh, I'm a brand ambassador. I basically get paid because they use my picture on their website. And uh, if I do anything poker related, I usually wear America's Card Room. America's Card Room loves me. They love the Bargain Hunter Thrift Store family. Um, they love all you guys. They're huge fans of the YouTube channel, huge fans of Storage Wars. So, you know, they support me, whatever. I pretty much can do what I like to there. Um, they don't they don't set any rules. I don't get any bonus payments if you use my bonus code. But I also love the America's Card from family. You know, great software, great site, especially for tournaments. So I support them too. I just said that because somebody was asking, do you, do you get paid when we use your bonus code? No, it ma makes no difference. <clears throat> But by using the bonus code, we can show them because they support us a lot. Sometimes they sponsor giveaways and stuff like this. Um, we can we can show them, too, that the Bargain Hunter Thrift family supports America's Card Room. And you really, I mean, if you like any sort of poker, they have everyday tournaments that cost you zero to buy in, and you can actually win cash. Ask Vin Julian and ask Shrika and um, what's the other username that's, um, you know, they play them all the time. Is it open to Canadians? Yeah, Kathy. Anybody in the whole world. So just go to americascardroom.com. Here, I'll show you real easy. Check out my pretty picture with my cheesy smile. americascardroom.eu, actually. I would say .com, but it's EU. I think .com gets you there, too. So that's my buddy Moneymaker. Here you go. Your favorite storage buyer. And then just let's do this. Download now. And then at one point when you register, it gives you bonus code and just put in Renee. God, I need plastic surgery. I placed 126th in ACR Bosky Tourney last night. 27.93 cash out. Nice. Is the Bosky Tournament a free roll? I think for some reason I feel like it is. It's a free roll. It's really cheap, right? Awesome, Mike. Yeah, so sign up and have an ACR name. They do have Life Blackjack too, yeah, so I play it sometimes. They have Life Blackjack. Uh, what do I have? Life Blackjack, Baccarat, Roulette, European Roulette. I think those are their life games. And then they also have different software and stuff if you want to play it. So you guys make sure to sign up. And then, um, you know, if you win any of our giveaways, we'll send you money. We also, if you can go to our channel and go... Uh, I think we call it America's Card Room Payout. We'll actually show where we're paying people out. <clears throat> like a couple of tournaments ago, we paid out like $1,800 to stream us. Oh, $11 buy-in, okay. So you doubled, so that's so good. But I mean, hey, whenever you win something, it's good, right? You're welcome, Kathy. I don't know if I said it already. 
Then even for this Venom right here, you can actually go into dollar buying tournaments and work your way up to a Venom ticket, which is twenty six hundred dollars. You know that'd be the that'd be the ultimate spin up if you start with a dollar and spin it up and win the tournament and get a million. That'd be pretty good. I mean that's hard to do because you have to win a lot for a long time, but I mean it's possible. I mean that's how Money Maker made it. He did it off like a what a thirty five or fifty dollar satellite or something like that. Wow, Silverhair Stack is at Bosky first place. It's twenty four thousand dollars for eleven dollar buying. That's pretty good. Oh no, he said twenty four hundred. Okay, that sounds more realistic. I'm like twenty four thousand dollars for eleven dollar buying. I'm like I need to play that. Okay, guys, I'm on break, so I'm gonna go stretch my legs really quick. Um, two hours in, Shriker will answer any questions, and then we'll be right back. Oh, so Mike got a whole bunch of knockouts and came 100 tenths, 1, 4, 15. Okay, cool. Good job, Mike. What's up, uh, Boa Keys Thomas? I'll be back in just a couple minutes, guys. One break, I'm going to stretch, stretch my legs. Two hours in, we're basically at starting stack, which is good because we lost like a third of our stack when we had the trip aces. So luckily, we didn't go bust there. A lot of people would go bust. <sighs> I have Discord, but it's private. It's not. Um, actually, I am on Discord, but um, I don't really use it yet. So it's not. It's not like a public uh, use. Is my dad here? I see Gunter Minnesota. He Shrike was he here. So, uh, I'm not ignoring you, Vsep. What do you? What, what is it that you like to say? I answer the questions as much as I can when I see him. What's the first place in this tournament? So let's go take a look. So we have to go over here. You won't know until. So tomorrow is another buying day. But first place right now estimated is $483,000. Yeah, Gunter will stop by eventually. So we're actually now 482000 and place is paid one hundred sixty-two. So that'll probably go up a little bit more. Our best finish in this was 81, which right now would be worth 22,000. So the BKO tournaments are always a little bit less because there's a lot of bounty prices. <coughs> I need coffee. I'm tired. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
Crap up guys down to 55,000. So that's our first potential bounty. So let's see if we can catch this guy. If he goes all in, we're probably going to call. And every time we bust somebody, we get the bounty. Bounty, It's $25 we're passing out. Plus the 10% giveaway for the questions. Let me send a message to my friend. Uh, actually, hold on a second. Yeah, no, the ACR family is pretty good. Money maker got a lot of new people into poker. That's Cinderella story. Oh yeah. Bounty up, bounty up. Let's get it. Bounties must be one k each. Well, they start at six twenty five, and then it's, so my bounty right now. If somebody gets me is six twenty five, but once I bust somebody, I think it doubles or like half of it goes up. So I'm I'm not sure how that totally works. But every time you bust somebody, your bounty goes up. But it starts at six twenty five. What's up, Jimmy J Cricket? But yeah, bounties are definitely good. Catch my phone a little bit. We'll do another giveaway in a few minutes too. So if you guys haven't downloaded America's Card Room, bonus code Rene, americascardroom.eu.com, either one works. Bonus code Rene. Get the software. Okay, we see a flop here. That's not it. Uh, I'm gonna call. <clears throat> he just he just called the flop. He bets the flop. We'll call. So he just called pre-flop, then he bet the flop, he bet the turn, and now the river he checks. We got to bet three quarter pot. He's probably going to fold here. He bluffed twice at it. He fells. We had ace deuce. Signed up a few minutes ago, long term like lurker. What's up, Lisa? I'm assuming you signed up to America's card room so you can win, right? Am I buddies with that yep guy? Yeah, I'm friends with uh, with Dave. 
Lisa is a long time lurker. What's up, Lisa? We had ace dues that hand. Okay, we're going to defend the small plank because we're going to get 4 to 1 on our money. Let's see a flop. We should get 4 to 1. We're getting 3 to 1 for sure. Let's see a flop here. Yeah, this is like not a good flop for us. Awesome, Lisa. Well, welcome to the Bargain Hunters family. Welcome to the ACR family. Yeah, I said I'm friends with the Yup guy, uh, with Dave. Look, he's not as bad as he's made out to seem to show. I mean, he definitely has some social issues sometimes. But overall, he's a very smart businessman. He makes money. Um, and, you know, like, you know, we've done business before. Everything he ever has done is straight up. So I like that. You know, I mean, I like him. He's a good guy. Let me put it this way. If he called me right now, I was like, hey, I'm in San Diego. You want to do dinner? I'm like, yeah, let's go. Yes, indeed, AC, a long-time poker player, too. Used to go to WPP boot camps when they had them a long time ago. That's awesome. Well, so in ACR, if you want to get familiar with the software and stuff like this and you don't want to put money on there right away, um, they have, like, daily free rolls. So you can play absolutely for free. And then, obviously, you want to participate in the stream. When we bust somebody, we give away $25. And then on the final payout, we're going to give away 10% of whatever we get that gets split in 100 shares. And we give away 2% trivia questions, which I think we're about to do one. So right now, if you guys haven't signed up yet, I'm going to wait a few minutes. Uh, go to americascardroom.com, sign up, use bonus code Renee. Hey, Lisa, did you use bonus code Renee? Let them know that you come from the Bargain Hunters family. Am I friends with Ivan Kinney? Yes, Ivan Kinney are super good people. I've been so busy lately, to be honest. I haven't really had a time to shout out to any of these guys lately the last couple of weeks because I've just been busy. Sure did. Use Renee. Well, Lisa's a good true team bargain hunter supporting the cause. Like I said, I don't get paid if you if you use bonus code Renee, but it's always nice to see when they see. It's like, hey, Lisa came on. She joined ACR, and she's part of Bargain Hunter's family, so that's always cool. Lisa, I don't know if you're going to the World Series, but I'll, I'll be there for sure in like the first couple of weeks. So if you see me uh, at the World Series, hit me up, say hi, and I'll get you some America's Card Room swag as long as I have some. I think they're supposed to send me some stuff, but we see. we see. Hey, it didn't hurt one bit either. That is true, Lisa. That is true. It does not hurt. It's, it's always good when we show them that we represent... Like I said, I mean, America's card room has a lot of players in Latin America and Europe and like Storage Wars is huge there. So they have my picture on their website. That's good for them alone, you know. People always think that I'm like trying to hustle up like that I get paid 20 bucks when you sign up or something. I, I don't. And I wouldn't do it for that anyway. But um, it's always good. Okay, she's raising under the gun 7,000. We, we're in the button. Let's see what happens here. Oh, people love poker. So ACR has players from all over the world. We're just going to call. Okay, that's it. We need to stop here and go back to my camera. That's it. Alright. Last time she raced early, she had pocket jacks. Yeah, I got my own avatar. Oh, I'm in a hat. I can't show you. Oh, I would have to cover up my cards. Yeah, so I do have my own avatar. Right, let's take one off the top here. I'm going to fold. Last time she had pocket checks, um, I got king queen suited. Needed a club on a turn here. We'll fold. I don't like that turn card. 
I love poker. It's a sickness with me. I love poker too. I play like two or three times a week in ca live cash games. Let me see if I can show you my avatar here. Hold on a second. I would have to go here. We have to move this puppy over here for a second. We'll fold. These are all my avatars right here. Thumbs up. You're crying, Renee. These are all the real Renes. I usually leave the storage wars on. So, those are my avatars. Let me show we cover this up again. Okay. Yeah, I'm a better life player because I get a lot of good reads of players. But I love online too. I just like all poker. Who are we kidding here? Get my wife to give a shout out. That's my daughter up here in Storage Wars. Yeah, she's been in several episodes. Man, last hand we had King Queen of Clubs. That's the flop we needed. <clears throat> Online tournaments are fun too. I mean, everything is. I like all poker. I could play poker every day. I'm playing this crazy game. Uh, it's a 1-2 uh, cash game. Max $300 buy-in. It's a private game. Only like, you know, right now we're only playing six-handed because of COVID. It's a very small group. Normally we play eight-handed. But we self-deal, no dealers. It's a crazy game. I mean, like, people are on all in like every other hand. So, like, the other day we played it. Uh, I bought it for 300 and I cashed out after six hours of playing roughly. I cashed out 11440 in a 1-2 game. No limit. Like, you know, all kinds of people try to get into that game, but it's like, it's really hard to get in. It's almost impossible to get in. You have to be one of the preferred friends. It's, it's a very close group. Um, yeah, so I don't know if Brandon, I don't, is Brandon still listed on the cast? I mean, he was on there. I don't think he's still listed. Oh, you mean like on the website? Yeah, it's different. Brandon had a long-term contract. Um, Tatiana gets paid for day player. Just shared this out on my community tab, Renny. Awesome, Cleese, the news. I appreciate it. So, um, it, it's different. Did I say 11,000? I didn't say 11,000. I said 11,444. And I bought it with 300 bucks. I didn't have a single rebuy. Now, just to be fair, I, already I also had nights where I lost 6,000 in that game. Like, literally, everybody is all in every hand. Does ACR offer private games? Yeah, you can do private games on ACR. You know, I never tried to do a private game, but I know there's a private tab. Let's see. Uh, we don't want that. So, um, you can go private. I think you have to email. I don't think you can just start. I think you have to email them and then ask them to host one. Like private tournaments. Or what is this tournament? Let me see. Uh, so, that's private tournaments. But I think you have to email. That's a, that's a way to do it. I think you have to talk to the support. Yeah, 11,440. It's a crazy game. Do I play Omaha? Yeah, I play Omaha. I'm not that good at it. So actually, the first time I ever played Omaha live, I actually went to uh, Costa Rica for America's Card from Cage event. That's the first time I've ever played Omaha high only. I, I don't even think I played it online in a tournament. I, I know about the game. I played high low plenty of times live. So, um... And it was so we started with five thousand dollars, and the, the way the cage tournament goes, you play two days, tournament style, for six hours. It's either four or six hours. I forgot. I, I feel like it's six hours. And after this two days, whatever chips you have, that's that is what you win. 
Yeah, ACR needs more stud games. I like playing stud games too. I like playing stud high though. Uh, <clears throat> so after those two days, whatever you have left in chips, that is what you have. That's what you win. And I played Omaha High, so I started with five thousand and I cashed out like just under, just over fifteen thousand. I think it was like fifteen thousand four hundred. Yeah, Jesse, I'm going to the worst series of poker. I'll probably get there like June fourth or so for like a couple of weeks, and I will see. <clears throat> it depends on my filming schedule too, so I'm still negotiating a little bit on a new contract. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. All time permitting, it's hard because we're filming right now too. So. I need a little bit of fan, I think. Yeah, Omar is fun. I mean, you, you want to have, obviously, the main hand and the redraw. I had a huge hand against my buddy Scott Fall. I talk about it every time. He always makes fun of me because I make sure to tell his hand to everybody. But basically, I flopped top set. He had, like, bottom two pair and a small flush draw. I flopped top set with, um, I think, I had an over pair two, and I had net flush draw. I had a pretty, pretty, pretty dominated the only way he could have won a hand there was if he hits like a gut shot straight. So that, that was a huge hand that tournament for me. It's on it's on um if you go to America's card room, it's on their Twitter feed. Uh there's some videos online. I'll probably I, I'm sure I published some videos. It's funny too, because we started tipping the dealer. Me and him were going at it in a lot of hands. And I started tipping the dealer, and then he started tipping every time we won a hand, we gave the dealer like 20 bucks of real money. Which nobody does there, obviously, because it's tournament. So, uh, yeah, but that was pretty funny. Scott Ball is a really good poker player. He has, like, two bracelets and plays a, plays a lot of games, but I dominated his ass in that one hand, that one glorious battle. That's the only one, though. <laughs> and he had a pretty good hand, too, you know, so. All right, let's see. Check raised me. Lush gets there in a turn. What's your check raise? He limped the flop. Oh no, he was big blind. He didn't raise pre flop. Guess he could have 9 5, Jack 5, 8 5. Other things are very long time. Alright, let's think some too. We'll call. Earlier, this person went all in on me, so. <laughs> that guy's such a fish. Oh, why are you taking him off my table? So he's betting the whole way with a stray draw. Double belly bust, and he gets down the river, of course. <sighs> we had to ace queen. But I know he's a weak play. I got to pay him off in the river. So he bet what? He check raced me to 10,000 on the flop. Then he bet 30,000 on a turn. And then on the river, he hits the bottom dummy straight. And they take him off my table. <sighs> this guy raised pre-flop. We are Krika. Okay. You know, let's me try check raising. Let's make it 19,000. I king jack flop top two. Fold. Man, I should have just ace queen. I should have put that guy all in. Four of a kind with a straight flush on ACR. Damn. <sighs> Defend the blind. God, they took that guy off the table. You know, you just want a big pot with hitting the gut shots. Not you know, the bottom straight. He had a double belly buster. But it take him off my table. Like, I want to play every hand with that guy. Now that the, probably earlier when he had... Um, I just called bottom pair. He made him in bet. Earlier when uh, when he went that all in, he probably didn't have crap. Well, I got some good notes on him. Next time we're going to start raising this guy. If I see him again, we're going to start raising him a lot. He check raised me into flop. 30,000 in the turn, and then 68,000 on the river when he finally made a hand. 
Uh, oh, well. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Well, four of a kind with a straight flush on Omaha is really... um. So you guys want to hear about a crazy hand that we just played? In, um, this is how crazy this game plays in the 1-2 game. It was a huge pot. So I have pocket force under the gun, which position in that game doesn't mean anything. We're only playing six on it. I just limp for the two dollars. Everybody limps, it's, so it's uh, eight dollars on the flop, which is rare. I, I'm, I raise almost every hand, or if I don't raise, my buddy Steve raises. So uh, one of us is two almost always raises. It's like usually like thirty-five to seventy-five a hand pre-flop in a one-two game. It really plays one, two, seventy-five most of the time. So, but this hand wasn't raised. Eight dollars. I got pocket force. The flop is four, four, seven. So I guess you could call it a killer flop, right? I check. Everyone else checks. Um. Actually, no, I was in a button, I think. A button or next to the button. So everybody checks, I check. Turn card is an eight. My friend um, Kathleen, she bets uh, $5. I just call $5. Another player calls $5. So now we have $23 in a pot, right? Yeah, $23 in a pot. The river card, so the turn card is an 8. It's 4, 4, 7, turn 8. River card is a 9. Check, check. Kathleen bets 100. Oh, all in, hold on. We got an all in? Why is the sound of the music? What happened? You guys couldn't hear that because I got my desktop out yet because I'm always afraid of copyrights. Hey, uh, Shrike, I think we're the only ones who can see this n naked HD messages because he's already hidden. So you and me can hit it. Everybody else can see it. Only admins can see the messages. Regular people can see it. So, uh, okay, so um, we have $23 in a pot. The board is 4, 4, 7, 8 on a turn, 9 on the river. Um. Hold on, I got a hand. I gotta... Remind me to tell you about this hand because this is crazy how the river betting went. We play this hand really quick. I race. Just a big blind. Pocket queens, no action. I have Kobe cards, but nothing from a locker. Just um, nothing great, Kobe. Okay, so the board is four, four, seven, eight on the turn, nine on the river. Checked on the flop, five dollar bet on the turn. The river comes. The first two people check. I um so Kathleen bets a hundred. I make it five hundred. She makes it a thousand. I make it two thousand. She calls. So the pot goes from twenty three dollars to four thousand dollars. She backdoored a jack high flush, a jack high straight. There's no flush on the board. And I flop quartz. Unfortunate hand for her because her, her hand is pretty strong too, except the run out. But it is a paired board. And uh, yeah, I went from $23 to $4,000 pot. Yeah, now, they, now he shouldn't be able to see him because he's already banned, right? He's hidden from the channel, so... Oh, this guy has a million of chips, and he made it 16,000. Let's see, the big blind of Fink and Quill Givens. I'm going to re-raise him to 41,000. I want to pay attention here real quick. Hold on. Fold. All right, we picked up a little bit of chips. Hi, I love you guys for watching on TV. I get to watch you in here. Much love and respect to you and your beautiful family, sir. Thank you, Das Boy.
Well, you guys know what I had, obviously, right? When I just re-raised them to 41,000. I just don't want to give them a free flop. Because then they bluff and they get lucky. Yeah, that's a sick hand, Mike, right? I had pocket aces that hand. Wow, queens, no action, aces. I got somebody who put in 16,000 mil, but I got it. Thank you, Herberto. I have nothing, no Kobe stuff for sale right now. But I have nothing too exciting. But I, I don't send pictures and prices. The only thing we sell is on eBay. I don't do individual because it's too much work, to be honest. If we have something for sale, it's always listed on eBay. So check out eBay. We have shoes that Kobe Bryant owned. And we had t-shirts. I got to list more t-shirts. I don't think I have any Kobe cards listed right now, so... Are there professionals and areas of special items you get open to a free, quick verbal appraisal on how often do they buy the item? Uh, every person is different. I usually don't sell, like, uh, more the appraisals that we get on TV, that's more for TV. I usually do my own research. All right, I guess 10, 6 of clubs. We're not going to play that. Can't defend the blind there. They're doing some big betting. Some professionals will give you a prey, but most people want money, you know. Oh, man, we would be winning without 10-6 right now. Now we lose. Both ace-kings. Chop, chop. Damn, what happened to the small stack? The small stack on our table got replaced by million-dollar stack. That's not good. I just lost a stupid hand. I had my chips back up to 300,000. And this guy that I got labeled as my fish, and I got notes on him and two stuff like this. I have ace, queen, and he bets the flop. He check raises me to flop to 10,000. I was bluffing on the flop, but I turned the ace. Then he bets 30,000 into the uh, turn when I hit the ace. And then the river, 68,000, he hit a straight on the river. Aww, Betting the whole way. Yeah, it's okay. That's like the second or third time I got to. I mean, I, I love but then he got moved from my table. Hopefully we see him again in this tournament. Yeah, revenge is sweet, man. That's not revenge. It's just a suck. I should have raced him on a turn. Only one thing I'm confused, which is, are you truly German? No, I'm faking it. He has <laughs> left the videos you and Face Rush showing him skills of storage wars. And no problem, Das Boy. Yeah, I'm really German. I was born in Austria, but I'm a German citizen, and I lived in Germany. All right, we got a hand, Casey. You want to see the hand? But okay. don't say what it is, because okay. we got it covered. You never know who's watching our stream. Do you want to look in the camera and say hi? Oh, you yeah. don't want to? No? No, I'm going to exercise right now. Got to love Pokemon at King King versus Ace 9. <laughs> Flop was Ace, Queen Ace. We got it all in turn. was a Queen, River was an Ace. That sucks. Yeah. My wife had prep cat last year, but doing well now. I'm cooking for her soon. Oh, yeah. Go take care of your wife, Khaleesi News. And I'm sorry to hear about the breast cancer. Uh, this hand is raised and re-raised. We're just going to call. I could go all in here, but... Let's see what the flop looks like. Damn, the guy next to me calls. Shit, that's a lot of hands. And the flop is ace-jack-4. So the Riha Krika earlier did it with ace-king and made the exact same raise. 30,000 free flop. Oh. Now you bet 30. I'm going to have to lay down. We have a pocket pair, but we can't beat the aces. Yeah. I'm not going to say what the pair is. Shriker says hello, Casey. Hey, Shriker. What's up? Can they hear me? Or? Yeah, they can hear you. Speak a little bit louder because the mic's okay. below. Hey, Shriker. What's up? You don't have to yell in my ear. You know what? Um, shit. <laughs> yeah, I got to fold especially with a player behind me. Yeah. <sighs> and then Lady Antique says hi. Cleese and News oh, said hi. Lady Antique, hi. Hi, Lady Antique. Oh, the straight gets there, the flush gets there, and our pocket pair, we didn't even have the club, unfortunately. Yeah. Everybody says hi, hi, hi. 
Hi, hi, hi. Okay, let's go like that. Where's my hand? Lucid, der Deutsche, warst du auch mal ein Drachenlord? I don't know what Drachenlord is. But, uh, Drach Dragonlord? Let's see. So, see, last time the, the guy who's been aggressor, Rhea Cracker, he did the exact same race with Ace King. Thanks for streaming. Awesome to watch an opportunity alongside you. Makes it more fun. No problem, Tony Montana. We had this one guy that just keeps on coming in and just spams us for porn now. Asking for it? He just keeps on trying to spam us. But like we turn him off right away, so he doesn't even know that this me nobody sees this message except like three moderators. Yeah, stop being a perv. Yeah, it's just people spam us. Dummies. Flushy, See Ace King. Her name is right. Or this guy turned to flush and he riveted a bigger flush with the other King of Clubs. Wow. He got all his money in on the turn and he was actually behind with the Ace King. But he won, right? Yeah, he won because he had the king of the clubs king in his hand, and another club yeah. came. So we got moved again. Now we got that guy on our left. How many players are still in? Uh, oh, it's way early. How many players began? Do you know? I I can like so Friday's usually less, so three hundred ten. On Sunday, it's usually seven eight hundred players. It's actually better to play Sunday, but I said I was going to stream today, so I did it today. I might buy it on Sunday too. I'm not sure. If I buy it on Sunday, guys, you guys are part of the win, but I'm not sure yet. Ace nine, we raised a button. Everybody folded. So right now we got about two hundred four thousand. We started three hundred thousand. We had two big unfortunate hands. One, the fish got lucky in the river, and the other one, we had ace jack versus ace king. We flopped trip ace as our last minimum. Mm. <clears throat> but it, it doesn't matter how many. I mean, this is a you get paid for knockouts. So every time you knock somebody out, so you get six twenty five. Now you get nine thirty seven from this guy, twelve fifty on this guy, twelve fifty on this guy. I haven't had any knockouts yet. So we actually did a bonus on the channel too. We're gonna do if we do knock somebody out, we're gonna give twenty five of it immediately. Uh, look at top right. Oh yeah, I forgot they did change that. So yeah, two hundred four to two forty nine are left. Who wrote I love you? Where do you see that? Right there. Oh, Tatiana wrote that. She left a note. It's cute. It's a little smiley face. <laughs> All right, dude. All right. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll see the flop. Let's see what happens. Alpha, Mike, Foxtrot, Tango, Jolly, Omega. Thanks for the coffee. You're Have Casey ask a question. Do you want to ask the trivia question? Okay, where do you come up with these trivia questions? I always hear them in the background. I'm like, on, I let's... have no idea what the answer is. Let me, let me uh, play this hand really quick. Hold on. He raised a pre-flop, right? Okay, let's bet 9,000. He did raise a pre-flop. And he checked twice to me. If he calls, he should have jacks or tens or maybe ace queen. Um, let's see if we can pick up a few chips, maybe eighteen thousand. Straight misses. Okay, we had king queen in hand. Okay, two hundred thirty thousand. We did a German, Austria, Swiss bus tour in November. That sounds like fun. Yeah. All right. So where do we come up with these questions? Okay, we're going to ask a 2% question. Casey's going to ask again. Top chat, have an ACR username. No, you cannot go make one if you win. you got to have it in advance. When you sign up, bonus code Renee. Uh, <laughs> okay, this question right here. Can you see that? Don't, don't read it out loud yet. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So oh, say it yeah. loud and clear and don't say the answer. I've done that before. <laughs> okay, guys. A 2% question. Get ready. Got to have an ACR username. Question has to be answered on YouTube. And make sure you guys are on top chat. Okay, so read the question. Say it really loud and clear here. Okay. What is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? Again? Once again. What is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? Okay, guys, first first person w winning gets a question, 2%er. The way it works, we give away 10%. That gets split into 100%. Somebody says Coke, Coke. Nope, Lady Antique Stretches is right, tea. The most consumed manufactured drink in the world is tea. Vin Julian, beer, I would uh, I would have I guessed that too. Beer is good, but it's tea. 
So Lady Antiques Treasure wins that one. All right, Lady Antiques Treasure. Lady Antiques Treasures. <laughs> Okay, you guys have fun. I'm going to go exercise. I know you have an ACR name because I know I paid you out in the past. What's the ACR name? I forget. It's not I am Rue, is it? I think that's Sarah. What's the, what's the, what's the ACR name, lady? I know Cola's a really good guess. I, I would have guessed two between Cola, but then somebody said beer. Well, water, that's not manufactured, so. It is tea. I've just shown you to my mom. She remembers you when she says you hope we're doing good. I really wish I could meet you, but unfortunately, I live in the UK. That's awesome, Taz Boy. Tell your mom we said hi. Uh, Do we get the ACR name? Oh, it is I am Rue. Okay, ACR, I am Rue. Oh, my YouTube froze again. Funny, my YouTube chat freezes sometimes. I am Rue, 2%. And Lady Antique got paid in the past. She made some money. Yeah, no, in a lot of countries, that's like the main drink tea. Let me, let me restart my YouTube real quick. Oh, I think there's a slight delay on my YouTube, that's why. Oh, you said it in a different chat, maybe that's what it was. Well, tea isn't really manufactured, just ground up leaves, yeah, but they still manufactured in tea bags and stuff, so that would be considered manufactured. <coughs> but hey, I just get the questions from a media, uh, from a special trivia page, and um, I go with their answers. I guess whenever there's a prog process to uh, change anything on it, it's considered manufactured, right? But I am rude. Lady Antiques got that 2%. So far, we're giving away 6%. Also, don't forget to do the Twitter one. That's the really easy money. If you haven't seen it, let me go back to that again. That's going to be good for 5% as long as we, we make it through day two. If if I do play day three, then we'll give it away on day three. Uh, if I if I play another day one. But let me see. Uh, this one right here. You gotta like it, retweet it, and comment. If you do all three of those, and the comment has to be this right here. Let's go America's card room ACR money making time. Just how Sarah did it, how Hello Kitty ACR did it. Tony Montana's right. Patrick is wrong. And big problem is right. So, oh, we got a hand. Hold on, let me play a hand. We got a hand. Not a great hand, but we got a hand. Let's go to a playable hand. So you got to like, retweet, and then reply with the same thing. And that's going to be good for 5%. If we last to the end of the day, we'll give it away at the end of the day. Oh, button raises. Who is the button? Alpha Mike Foxtrot. Small blind makes it thirty five thousand. Okay, we'll just call. I could go all in here, I guess, but Okay, the flop is A seven four with three clubs. Twenty thousand bet we call. Check, check. Six of club on the river. He bets 50. That we got pocket jacks with the jack of clubs. We're going to call two cards beat us. And he had nothing. He bluffed. All right. All right. That was a big pot, guys. Big fan. What's up, Andrea? Or oh, Andre Galosi. I'm sorry. I, I saw Andrea. Uh...
Big hand, guys. Big hand. That was a good one. Pocket jacks. If I would have went all in pre-flop, he wouldn't have called because he had king-queen offsuit. But that wasn't the worst flop. I'm not crazy about the ace, obviously. And then he bet a little bit on the flop, so we'll call. We hit the third nut on the river. You two, please, the news. Take care of you not, uh, to your wife and send our love to her. All right, back to 340000 That helped a little bit. And I'm glad. Uh, it sounds like your wife beat cancer. Big pots wake me up. Me too. That was a good one. You know, there was no point of me raising the river, obviously, because I'm either beat or he has nothing like he did and I fold. Even if he had a small pair, a smaller pair with a club, he still, um, he's still, he's still probably not going to call. No problem, Cleason. I'm, I'm just glad that she's okay. That's good. <sighs> All right. I watch you guys every time in storage was with you. I always battle with Daryl. She's, yeah. Daryl is definitely my special friend. Uh, Alpha raises this. I'm just going to call. Let's see. We have another hand to play. Let's see how this one works out. I'm trying, Task Boy. I'm trying. I'm trying. We back up the starting stack again, so that's good. A little bit over starting stack. You know, we had two unfortunate hands. We had one fish get lucky in the river. But it's my fault, I should have. But, you know, the guy plays so bad, I probably would have done a decent-sized race. He's probably still calling to see the river. And then he gets lucky in the river, hits that straight, and I probably lose all my chips. And then the other one, we had ace-jack with ace-jack suited, where we flopped trip aces versus um, ace-king unfortunate. Luckily, I just check and call it. And I mean, I lost a third of my stack, but I could have lost a lot more. Alpha Mike Foxtrox raced his hand pre-flop to about 10,000. That's the flop, 476. He should see bet here. But he's been checking earlier, so let's see what he does. Maybe he won't, won't see bet. I don't know. If, they keep on changing my table so much. I don't know. Was it the same guy that kept on checking twice or earlier than we bet? Using his time bank, he's taking a long time. Let me turn my time bank on. Oh, that's a lot of acting. Czech Republic, maybe it's a bad connection. Rene, pull your cover up uh, here so we can see a chip count. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Um, okay, he checks, so we're gonna put in a twenty thousand dollar bet, half pot. Uh, oops. I bet 20,000 he raised the pre-flop. I'm betting half pot. He's thinking for a long time. Yeah, you're right, Richard. So he probably was calling. He's not that good of a player. Keep it up, Rennie. Big fan. Thank you, Justin. The luck is okay. We had pocket tens that hand, so we'll take that pot. Ugh. I mean, I could try to slow play, but then it's probably an ace or king on the turn, and then I'll make a bad decision. Hold on a second. Man, I just missed that at Queen 10 offsuit. Ghost of M from Twitch in the house. What is up, brother?
<coughs> I'm actually buzzing. I'm talking to you and me and your wife are like, are like royalty famous. Thank you for talking with me. And I hope I can catch another live stream. I have all the notifications turned on. Oh, that's boy. That's awesome. Um, I'm just a regular guy. So that hand that I missed, we had queen 10 with the 10 of hearts. Drawing to second nuts and also drawing for straight. I guess I probably would draw a little bit. Uh, Gary Lawson, your wife is hot. I think she's hot. Thank you. Um, thanks, Das Boy. I appreciate watching. Queen 4 offsuit fold. So, 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 so. If you guys haven't done it, go to America's um, card room. Download the software. Bonus code Renee. Tony says she likes brand or he likes Brandy. Yeah, Brandy's a nice person too in her own way. I, I don't know. She's Ever since she got divorced, or not divorced, but separated, she's a lot nicer now, so... You never know if it's if it was his fault, but he was really nice too when they broke up. So at first, because I filmed with both of them, because they both used to be big time jerks, and now they were trying to be nice. She wears the pants. That's on TV, buddy. So I don't know. You know, I try to be friends with everybody, but I, my relationship with them the first few years was obviously bad. They were both kind of stuck up little biatches. But now they both tried to be nice, and obviously, um, Jared is no longer on the show. But whatever. So Brandy's trying to be nice now. She's cool, so you know, she's a new boyfriend. She seems to be happy, so whatever works for them. I wish them nothing but the best. And then I haven't talked to Jared. I mean I'm obviously not friends with him, but he was nice at the filming at the end. Um but I know he moved on too. He has a new girlfriend and he seems to be happy, so he put some posts out there. Damn Mama Do is one point one million chips already. Gee. What a stack. An average stack is only 387. Can I get that? <clears throat> and Richard said, I agree he was calling, so I saved money. Trigger Models. Hi, Renee. I follow you from Italy. What's up, Italy? One of the few European countries I haven't been yet. You're in a big fan. Greetings from Norway. That's another one of the few countries. I would love to see like Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, all the Scandinavian countries. Would love to see Italy. You know, I'm a big history buff. Obviously, Italy's full of history. Romans. Oh, I got my stream on pause here. Let me get caught up here. There we go. How much are you up today? Australia up in the house. What's up, Australia? Um, This is a tournament, so it's $2,600 buy-in. No, not... No, you're not. You are way more than just a normal person. You're amazing. I hope you and your beautiful family have a remainder of an awesome day. I know I will. Now my day can't get any better. Take care. Thank you, Das Boy. I appreciate you, man. I hope you have a wonderful day, too. <clears throat> oh, man. What's that flop? Did we flop something there? No, we had 5-3. Italy's great. Going back next summer. Nice. So if we last through the whole day, this tournament will go all the way to like 10 o'clock tonight, I think. Shriker, do you remember? It's like, what is it, like 8 or 9 or 10, right? It's a pretty long day. And then uh, day 2 will be Monday. Day 3 is Tuesday. And day 4 is Wednesday, which should be the final tale. I'll say I'll check something real quick. Hey, Renee. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven pallets. Four hundred dollars for this.
Sorry, guys, somebody's trying to sell me something. <sighs> Sorry about that. Always doing business. Always doing business. If you guys haven't done it, americascardroom.com. Bonus code Rene if you want to win. No better feeling than winning money in the comfort of your home. I win money anywhere I can in life. Yeah, Shrike is at 2, 12 to 13 hours overall. What up, Rene? You're one of my favorites on storage. Well, thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. We had Jack Nine. Luckily, we didn't make a loose limp call that a big blind made at forty thousand after sentimental made at ten thousand. Both players call. It's gonna be interesting. What's up, Creative and Tech Channel? Sounds like an interesting channel. Long for sure. Good luck. Hope you win. I'll try. I'll try. Right now, we're in 108th place out of 242. Uh, min race. We've got 10 3 offsuit. There's no point in really putting any chips in here. I mean, I guess I could maybe flop two pair, but I don't know. Those type of hand can get you in trouble. Please come to India. I would love to go to India. I think it would be really interesting to see. But um, from what I've been told, you know, India is a very beautiful country, obviously, but it's also a lot of poverty, and you need to know where you go. So, like, I, from what I've been told, like, going to India, you kind of need a full-time guide, right? I love Indian food, and I know it's also very different depending on regions. Yeah, one day maybe we'll go visit India. I defended the blind for an extra 8,000, the small blind. Let me reboot my stream here. I'm way behind. I just noticed. Butter chicken, yeah. Uh, I have A3 of spades. I'm going to have to fold. That's not the flop we wanted. There's a small defense for the nut flush. The store is closed now. So we, we sold the store. They bought out our lease so they can buy, so they can build apartments. So we don't have to store. We have a warehouse, but that's not open to the public. It's located in Carlsbad, but we don't give out the exact address. I might open up. A, I'm actually talking to another very famous person. That's like a person that's super famous. Um, we're talking about opening up a baseball card store. So we're waiting to get a Panini account. You know, Panini told him that they'll give us an account if we open up the store. So. Once we get that approved, we have a really good relationship with Tops and Fanatics, so that's no problem. But once we get approved with Panini, we might open up a huge baseball card store. But uh, we got to get that Panini Direct account, otherwise there's no point in doing it. There's no point in being in business if um, if you can't get the account going. Um, creative Tech Channel. Um, just We do a lot of meet and greets. Where are you located at? Eh? see check out your channel real quick see if I can um, go to channel I don't know my internet is really slow today it's but like I, I got a new modem I need to switch it out oh 
Oh, you said Enya. Okay, yeah, you said Enya. You going to start with Phase Wreck? No, Phase Wreck is not the person. Okay, guys, it's break time again. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to um, take a break really quick. I'll be right back. But no, it's not Face Wreck. He's not involved. This person is much, much more famous than Face Wreck. Same kind of audience, though, but much, much more famous. And Face Rock is obviously very famous. But this person is like on a whole other level. This person, half of America probably knows. So he's a good friend of mine. Oh. But I don't want to say anything until it happens because everything is dependent on Panini. So we'll see. They said they would, but we've been waiting for three weeks now, so... Sorry, guys, I'm going to send a message here real quick. Damn, every time we take a break, we get lost a bunch.
Oh, somebody set stocks that way down. You know, I haven't even checked the stock market today. So I was just check the Dow. That's down 175 points. What day is today? Friday? Yeah. It says, mine says negative 175 right now. I'm so crypto. Like I said, I sold all my crypto, so the Trico, which is good. Did you qualify in or buy it? I bought it. Hi, Brayden Steinhurst. Steinhurst. Stitch. Bitcoin at 29,000. I wish it just dumps to like 20, 15,000 so I could buy a bunch more. What's up, Tammy Markgraf? Okay, you know what? We're going to play one here in late position. Uh, fold the button so I can have last action, please. Uh, I'll go around 42 cents. If so, it goes down. Yeah, I hope Bitcoin would go down to like 15,000. 10,000. That would be awesome. Buy a bunch. All right, let's see a flop, a loose call here. That is not the flop we wanted. I called it 7 6 suited, which is not really a good poker strategy. But in a PKO tournament, you can do the strategy sometimes, but that's obviously not the flop we're looking for. <coughs> of course, there's a C bet. I'm going to have to fold. Nothing I can beat. Running clubs against the paired board. Running straight against the paired board. No, Bitcoin's not 22,000. So, uh, oh, it's at 22,000? That would be nice, too. Smile gifts, but it's like 29,000. Oh, you're looking for a buy at 22,000. Yeah, that's good. Um, I think if it goes that low, I would still wait, because I think <coughs> that low, if it goes under the 20,000, it's going to drop more, but we'll see. But, you know, you can gradually buy it. You know, you just buy it, buy some at 22000 And if it keeps on going down, just keep on buying more. Cost average. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, just Google um, cost average or cost average stocks. Cost average investing. It'll give you a good explanation. I mean, since you have, I'm sure you know what it means, but I'm talking about if other people don't know what it means. Are we due for a giveaway yet? Let's wait like five minutes. We'll do another. Do you study preflop charts? No. I play with gut and instinct. Um, you know, I also like to play a lot of life tournaments. So I play the players. I play situations. I play how I run, how they run. Like I play all these different feelings. But you're talking about GTO, right? I, I I hope you're right, Shrike. If it goes down to twenty k, that'd be awesome. We can buy some. No, I I don't do that, Jesse. I, I know a lot of people do that, but I just play different. You know, it's the same thing. Like, um, you know, if everybody plays GTO now, which is great, then you do stuff that's unexpected. It's like you know, when everybody was reading super systems and trying to apply that into cash games, that was great because. You know, you can usually, like, you know, we're playing with somebody for about an hour or half an hour. You kind of can tell after a couple of showdowns that they're just reading super systems. And then once I know that, I know exactly how they play and what they play in most situations. So, take that to my advantage. Damn, that's the flop we're looking for with 7-6 of clubs. We would be all in there, buddy. So... Oh, yeah, we have giveaways. So what we do, uh, if we bust anybody, we get um, a bounty. We give away $25 right then and there. you got to have an ACR username. you got to be in America's Card Room. Um, if you don't have the software, go to americascardroom.com, download it, bonus code Rene. And uh, later on, if we do cash in this tournament, whatever we cash, we're giving away 10% of it, and it gets broken down into 100 shares. And each trivia question we ask throughout the stream is worth 2%. Yes, yeah, so. We're always giving away money here. But you got to have the ACR name, and you cannot win and say, oh, let me go make an account. you got to have the account we ask for 30 seconds. you got to give us the username. 
So if you participate, make sure you have your username. Make sure the questions have to be answered on YouTube and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, you got, yeah, exactly, John. We gave John an extra minute, but yeah, you got to know what your name is. So I try to make it fair for everybody. Those are the rules. Easy, right? What's up, Jerka Dubsky? Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. John won 2% earlier. I right, got 180 comments, seven shares, 122 likes on Facebook. Man, guys, 122 likes on Facebook, only 69 on YouTube. You tell me the Facebook audience is stronger than the YouTube audience? Wow. You guys gotta step up your game. Smash that like button, guys. Aaron says, what's up, Renee? 18 minutes ago. I think I missed this message. If you're still watching, thank you, Aaron. We have 10 dues off suit. We're not defending. How many places get the cash? Uh, it's usually like two to 300. So remember, it's four day ones. So right now, this is the third day one. Let's see. So far, there's been 1,443 buy-ins. And actively remaining is 169. So that's the ones that advanced to day two. And right now, the price as it goes to 162, minimum cash in is 4,400. First price is 471,000. So, pretty much, usually, when you make it to day two, you pretty much usually make it into the cash. <clears throat> Jack three offsuit on the button. We're not going to do anything with that. So I think by the time it's all said and done, that's probably going to be about 300 places paid. And there'll probably be about 350 to 400 day two starters. It's always a little bit different with the PTO tournaments because you win money as you bust players. So the price pool is like half. And usually they switch it up. One tournament is PTO. One tournament is uh, just the whole tournament. I like the regular tournament better, but the PTO is good too because you pick up cash as you go. Wow, just stock market just logged the longest losing streak, weekly losing streak since 2001. That's why I say a lot of stuff will adjust. And it actually, so my Dow Jones ended up plus 8.77. NASDAQ is down 33. S&P 500 is point a half a point up. But hey, fine. I know we have a lot of pickers and resellers uh, in this chat. Okay, we're going to see a flop here. Uh, when the economy goes down, there's a lot of opportunity. What's up, Plazen? There's a lot of opportunity to make money because there's so many people that overextend themselves, and when crap hits the fan, they have to sell, and they have to sell fast. And if you have cash on hand, you can get some deals. That's the beauty about this business. No matter what the economy is like, you always can make money in this business. Always. If you're willing to work hard and you know what you're doing. We just called 9900 next to the button. Reiner raised it pre-flop to 10,000. Riha Reka called also on the button. I'm going to check to him, see what he does. Riha Kreka. He checks. Reiner de Roar. Let's see. That's a Czech Republic and a Germany. So let's put up a $15,000 bet, see what happens here. Hedge funds are one trillion in debt. New regulation are going to affect that will basically audit them if they're losing money. They hold five trillion in assets. Not good for hedge funds. Yeah. You know, I watched this interview yesterday and I forgot what, what the guy's name is, but he's one of the big hedge fund managers. And he was talking about uh, Wall Street bets, you know, that's like, oh, they bankrupted this company. 
I hope. Uh, I don't like that river card. I got ace queen. I'm just going to check here. I feel like if I bet, I'm only going to get called if I'm beaten, most likely. So I'm just going to. That's a flush got there. Straight got there. Ace 10. Ace jack is there. We got ace queen. We're just going to check. King queen got there. Oh, so he just had king jack. So yeah. I, I don't think if I would bet, maybe if I bet four, five thousand, ten thousand, maybe he calls. Uh, hold on a second. So maybe he calls, but it just wasn't worth betting that to me. Because if he comes over the top and he makes a play, then it's just not good for me. Uh, Matt is asking, why do some players have um, higher um, KO prices? That's because they already busted other players. Every time you bust somebody, you get that full stack. So if I bust Mama Do, I get 1250 plus half of that stack. Or either half of that or th uh, half of um, or 317 gets added to my stack. Uh, so I'll uh, just come by the thumbs up for you, Renee. Good luck. I'll be in Vegas for the series, June 14th. What's up, Karcha Brielle? I should be in Vegas too, but I might be leaving close to June 14th. I might come back. It just depends on my schedules. So, but yeah, he was talking about how Wall Street bets destroyed this fund and how bad the retail investors are. But what they don't, what he wasn't saying, that his stupid fund was like um, shorting GameStop out of the moon and basically they're betting against an American con company and if their shorts keep on working and GameStop goes bankrupt, like thousands of people would lose their jobs. So he doesn't say that, you know. It's all how you look at stuff. So, you know, basically they're betting the hedge fund, which was teacher unions money, to short to bankrupt an American company. Now, if you ask most teachers, if they say, hey, do you want to take new investments and short the crap, crap out of an American company? And yes, probably it's going to make that company go bankrupt and thousands of people are losing jobs. They probably say, nah, don't use our hedge fund money for that, right? So, but he tries to twist it, like, because the retail investors saw the short and they'll be like, hey, we're not going to let you short it and we're just going to start buying up so you lose because your position is so over out of whack. You know, like they did something bad. Yeah, no, I know a lot of game stuff. I mean, it's a crap. No, it's it's the company concept is not gonna work in the long run. So, but still, it doesn't matter, you know. If if somebody way overextends themselves on shorts and people see it and take advantage, well, that's the market. That's what these hedge funds do all the damn time in investment funds. They just have millions and trillions of dollars available. So. So uh, that's the difference. They just got all butthurt because somebody else did it to them, you know, and then they ended up losing money and that one hedge fund shut down. What did I just fold? Oh, King 5 off suit, okay. <clears throat> so we got 370 about average stack, which is okay for the day we had. We had like two or three unfortunate hands. So we're okay. Working it slowly. No problem, car trap reality. Work that shop, work that shop. Yeah, look how easily we just tweet Elon can expose to Twitter pot skin. Well, everybody knew that all the time. Yeah, I pay Merrill Lynch to do my picking for me. That's good, you know. You know what I believe in the stock market? Like when I have money in the stock market, I like to have it in solid companies. Most of my solid stuff. I like to have stuff that pays dividends. You know, I like Cube Smart and Public Storage, both pay dividends. Um, I think Apple is always good in the long run. Um, Amazon is okay, but I don't like it that they make so much money. They don't want to give you any dividends, so I never bought Amazon stock. Um, Coca-Cola is good. <coughs> Bank of America. Most of these solid companies that have been around forever, they, they shouldn't go anywhere. I mean, anything can happen, obviously. They shouldn't go anywhere. But in the long run, even if it goes down, these companies always come back up. Yeah, I see you on Instagram, Cartoon Reality. So... <clears throat> I like having money in those companies. I like earning dividends on my money. And, you know, even let's say Coca-Cola, if the stock market totally goes down and uh, the, the stock goes down, I know in the long run it most likely always goes up again with the market as long as you don't have to sell it. And, you know, we don't put any more money in the market that we need right now that I have to I have to uh, sell. With that being said, we don't own any stocks right now. We sold everything a while ago. But we are waiting to see when the market opens up. I'd probably put six figures back into it and then just see if it can we'll write it up. But right now, I think the country is going down. Everything is going down. You know, housing market, I think, is going to bubble soon. 
You know, I think everything is like a powder keg right now. Right? One or really two really, really bad weeks can just make everything explode, including collectibles. But if collectible goes down, we just hold it. I mean, I'm storing it anyway. I just put it in storage, the best stuff. This And, and you know, so the, I like action figures. The figures that sell now for 5, 10, 20 bucks, they still sell for 5, 10, 20 bucks because it's not a major investment. Now the comic book that's worth $10,000 now might only be worth $5,000 if you can sell it. But then what you do, you just put that in the safe and you just hold it as long as you don't need the money right now. But with that being said, with inflation stuff, everything's getting so expensive. Now selling used toys like, you know, you can sell a figure for 20 bucks and it's probably cheaper than you go buy one at Walmart, you know. So it all adjusts. It always adjusts. People always doom and gloom, you know. They want to look at the negative, so... Uh, you know, it's up to you. Do you want to look at the positive or you want to look at the negative? Right? Everything above, bubble, I think so too. I think stock market is way overpriced. I think housing is crazy overpriced. And, um, you know, crypto... Crypto, I don't think crypto is necessarily overpriced, but it was really high. But it all moves together. And then the only thing that really should be going up is gold and silver. And... Uh, it's gold and silver, and uh, it's not going up, but that's so uh, controlled. You know, you p right now, like to buy an American Eagle, last time I checked, you have to pay $10 over spot price. That's how corrupt the paper price is. So my gold and silver just sits. Oh, yeah, so Lisa's in Florida. I love Florida. I want to move to Miami. Um, Housing is saying, so you, Lisa, you know, we're out here in um, California, San Diego. There's one area, Carlsbad, housing went up the last year 49%. Fuck you out of your mind. People call me, hey, you want to buy this? I'm like, no, nah, that's okay. Because it's stupid money. I'd rather just keep the cash now, which even with inflation, but everything else is dropping, we'll just keep it. Do you know that somebody calling about money? I just got a call. Somebody's offering you a collection of $1 million worth of Beanie Babies. Yeah, I'll they, give 80 bucks. They claim that it's millions of dollars worth. You funny. We didn't get a call, did we? No, but I've gotten calls like that at the store. Yeah, I know. Beanie, and I, Beanie Babies was also big. Yeah. They have millions of them. One million is a lot. Hey, Beanie Babies sold crazy in, crazy in the store. The only problem is 2 and $3. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, nice. Stewart, Florida. Okay. Yeah, I'm a huge Dolphins fan. Probably gonna fly at some Dolphins game this year, I think. We defended the small plane here. Hello, Tatiana, hang up the phone. <laughs> she was just trying to be funny. She's talking about back in the store. People would always try to sell us these big the beanie baby collections. Alright, let's take one off the top here. Quill Givens. United States play. I think she raised fleet for Quill. That sounds like a girl. Oh, Rika calls too. Turn card is a king. Check. Just check it one time, Quill. Let's see a free river. Come on. Otherwise, okay, so we have river. Bluff here, or do we have the best hand? I would hate to bluff out 75,000 in chips. What would that would put us at 250? Mm. Oh, beanie babies are great, they're just not worth what people think they're worth. There's no shame in no game as long as, um. As long as, uh, as long as, um, 40,000, he makes a bluff. Man, at Ria, when she re raises, okay, good, we didn't bluff 75,000 fold. <sighs> so I sold all my Bitcoin. Disney can lose its trademark and become public domain at the end of 2023. Not all of Disney, just certain things, right? I think the Mickey Mouse is about to become public domain. Put part of my public into poker cash? I don't know. 
I like having Bitcoin. I'm going to buy more Bitcoin. But yeah, no shame in the beanie game. I'll buy everything if I can make money. We had Jack 10 suited at last hand, so we called the second best pair of pick up a straight run, checked around. I wouldn't have bet called a bet on the turn anymore, but they gave us a free card. Luckily, we didn't hit. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't hit. Luckily for them, I guess. Oh, that's it? Seven years? I, I thought it was just a Mickey Mouse character. Just It's either becoming public domain or it is. Actually, next week, there's a licensing convention in uh, in Vegas, too. I was thinking about maybe going there. Yeah, the Steamboat one. We defended the small blind. We had to flop. Four. We flopped the six, so I'll just bet it out. Got a little bit some some. Steamboat Willie. But even with Steamboat Willie, I think you can do stuff, but you can just kind of put this uh, Disney logo in. We don't have a store right now, Dan. We just have a warehouse, but it's only online sales. So you can do your own. You can call him Steamboat Willie, but you cannot say Disney, I think. I don't know. I got to get a trademark lawyer. Let me see when is the, tr uh, the licensing convention. Uh, it's Vegas. I like going there to see what's available for licensing. Licensing Expo. 24th through the 26th. Friday. So, so it starts Tuesday. Oh, maybe we'll go to Vegas. Second, I gotta get my window back open. Steamboat, will you? No physical location right now. We had two seven of spades that hand. We didn't play, obviously. Like I said, the Friday games don't get that busy. Only 251 players. Normally they get like on weekends, they get like seven, 800. So, but it's easier to advance to day two, but you usually advance with less chips, obviously, too. Queen five suited, fold. All right. Uh, let's do another two percent. I feel like doing a giveaway. Get ready for a trivia question, guys. Make sure you have an ACR account. If not, download the software. Bonus code Renee America's Cardroom dot com. Let's see if we can get you a little trivia. Okay, here's a good one. Since we're talking about Disney, for 2%. Hello, my second favorite store chant. I think you you even agree Barry's number one, but being second to Barry means you're also awesome. Well, thank you, but I don't say Barry's number one. Barry's fun, but he's not a number one store chanter. But he is fun. Uh, But thank you, thank you. You gotta have your ACR name. You gotta answer the question on YouTube. Top chat. Disney related question. Walt, when Walt Disney was a child, which character did he play in a school function? When Walt Disney was a child, which character did he play in a school function? When Walt Disney was a child, 
which character did he play in his school function for 2%? Donald Duck? Nope, that didn't exist yet. Tree? Nope. Pinocchio? Nope. Dumbo? Nope. Mickey Mouse? Nope. Peter Pan! That's correct. Peter Pan. John McPhee was first, just ahead of Miss Lovely. Really close. John McPhee. What if you don't win the 2% will mean nothing? Exactly. Yeah, if I don't win the 2% it means nothing. Oh, it's uh, type 156 again. Type 156. Type 156. Yeah, if I don't win, the 2% means nothing. <sighs> so... But this stream, what's different on this stream is that um, we're constantly... So if we bust somebody, we give away $25 right then and there for every bust. You guys do me a favor. Hit the like button right here. Or hit the dislike, whatever. Just hit either one of them and does the same thing. We have 77 likes, not a single dislike. We usually get a hater coming in here too. Sorry, Miss Lovely, you were really, really close. You almost had it. Yeah, I know. It would be nice if we had some lower chip players. But we're getting right here. Rhinus down to 183. So he has potential. He plays a lot of hands. The rest all pretty have bigger stacks than me. Yeah? So we'll see. We'll just do it easy. This table is easy. It's not too crazy. You know, everybody seems to play mainly straight up poker right now. Thank you for the thumbs up. Appreciate it. On Facebook, hit that thumbs up button. On Twitch, I don't know if you can. And then on YouTube, obviously. Let's destroy it. How long are we streaming so far? Like four hours already or so, right? About to hit four hours? Three and a half hours? <clears throat> Patience is a virtue, right? Don't be a bum. Smash that like button. That's what Lady said. Three and a half hours, right? To set. So that's good. So we were going to stream last Friday also. And literally, I had a problem. I needed to update my video card drivers. But the tournament started, and I played like the second hand, second of third hand that was dealt to me, I went bust before I could get the video drivers. So yeah, second or third hand, I busted. You know, I called my friends at ACR and I was like, aren't you, didn't you say you got a stream today? Because sometimes they promote it too. They promote more to ACR pros than me, but that's fine. But uh, sometimes they sometimes they will promote, it's like, we don't see your stream. I'm like, uh, I busted the third hand. <laughs> They're like, Really? That's efficient. Oh, lady saw it, yeah. That was embarrassing. Oops. Yikes. Yeah, that was really um that 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 was really fast. So And I could have just fired another bullet right then and there, but I was like, yeah. I had problems with my video card. I fixed it afterwards. Actually it was something minor. It's just basically updating drivers. <laughs> yeah, small time gifts as you busted. I was like, that was quick. Yeah, I know. I I think I did videos on all our uh on all our platforms, and I did the video then. Played two hands in the video. Well, guys, never mind. I busted. <laughs> so, cause we, we usually kill it on Venom. Like I said last year, we cashed three out of four. So, <sighs> let me see. Somebody says I bought a, a unit around sixteen thousand vinyls for two k. A lot of Elvis and good name artists. Should I hire someone? I work full-time roofing someday i get out tired um hiring some i mean that sounds like a great unit i used to kill it with records in my store um 
you know, when you hire somebody, it starts costing a lot of money. So, and then also you don't have control over everything. Um, that's good and bad with that. Um, you know, also, how do you give access to your house and stuff like this? So, you know, if you don't need the money fast, just keep on listing slowly yourself. That's how you make the most profit if you have, um, if you, if you have another business. But that sounds like a great unit. Where, where is it located at? El Compa Rico. So it's like that. That's a question. That's not just a basic answer. A lot of that stuff just comes down to um, to what works for your business. You know, it's not a flat answer. But sixteen thousand records for four thousand or for two thousand dollars. That's great. Yeah. So you got to trust that person a lot, and um, yeah, you video you put out saying you bought the was so okay. Sorry, I already read that. Um, sounds like a great buy, though. Yeah, so if you have no rush in selling them, just do it yourself. You know, do the research. And number one, it's a great learning tool. The most time, people always ask me, why do you know about so many different things? It's because at one point, I probably sold it. King 5 suited. Um, should we defend here for 7500 more? I usually like defending my blinds. But I just announced what I had was Russian Federation. It's probably not watching my channel. Okay, he calls, so I'm going to get two to one, maybe three to one. We're going to defend. Big blind should defend any two cards here. Getting three to one on this money. Okay, so we flop and open it in a straight draw. Yeah, if you have no rush in selling, number one, it's a great learning tool for yourself and just slowly list. Also, you're in Illinois, so you said you're a roofer, right? So I'm assuming that we just were in Chicago for meet and greet. I'm assuming you probably have downtime in the wintertime also, right, when it gets really snowy. I don't know if your business picks up because of damages. Okay, so now we have a pair and an open-ender. So we're going to take a stab at the pot with a redraw with King 5 of Hearts. Also, since we first to act, everybody check the flop. We go lost. <clears throat> Two down, one to go. Fold. Nah, we just got it with a bluff. Good. So that's good. That worked out good. So sometimes when you first to act and everybody folded on the flop, you, you have a shot at it. And we did have a pair of fives, which obviously if somebody calls, I don't think that's going to win. But we also have to redraw to trips, two pair, or, or open and straight draw. Even with that board, if I hit the king of the river, I don't think it, my two pair would be good, by the way. When I had a store, I only hired relatives, so many scammers out there. No, when I had a store, I had some good people. But remember, store is different. Uh, have you sold the military surplus stuff yet? The one? Yeah, we sold a lot of that stuff. So I might get some more, and I'm working on a deal. A lot of uniforms. We'll see. Um, when you have a store, you have different security system. It's different. But he's saying that he has a full-time job and... Uh, so I'm assuming he doesn't have a store, so most likely he's going to give somebody access to his garage in the house or lets him take his product home, which is even worse. and Or he gives him access to a storage unit. So now it's it's much less harder to see. I'm trying to get my little brother into helping me, but he has no interest in helping. You know what? Let me tell you one thing. Um, Having family work with you, that's not your immediate family, so it's always a problem. You know, I have Tatiana help and Casey, but we're all immediate family. We're all on the same team. So, but even then, like with Tatiana, I don't push her. She wants to because she likes it. But I tell her all the time, I'm like, hey, you see those? List those. I give you a buck or two bucks a bottle. List that. Uh, almost all the Halloween stuff you see, we have listed. Tatiana did all that. Um, so, uh, so um, st stuff like that. Or pay your little brother, but if they don't want to, that's different, you know? Just do it yourself. Learn. In a store, it's a different setting. eBay, I hate selling mystery boxes. I know people like it. Yeah, those bots aren't giving up. It's funny. He 
was healthy for a day. I sold around 2K and again, 500 still not interested. So, I mean, either he has a lot of money or it's just not motivated. So just move on. How did you sell 2000 in one day? Did you wholesale it to somebody else that's reselling? Because that's a mistake in my opinion, unless you need money fast. Or did you list on eBay for just a whole bunch of stuff? Or did you do like a yard sale, which I hope you didn't let people pick him out? Yeah, today is a lot of bots in here, but that's okay. How did you sell uh, no local people? Oh, man. I hope you researched what you sold before because especially records, the people that usually buy them, one, they never want to pay you anything. Record, record dealers are like the worst. They find a $100 record and you tell them 5 bucks and they complain for 15 minutes. So, like, I research everything first. So, like, I would never let my records get picked through. I go, like, even in our store, we priced everything. I sold records in my store for, like, two and $300. And the dealers would complain, that's way too much. I'm like, don't buy it. But I want it. It's, 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 it's a good resale item. I'm like, what? Well, it's $300. Well, I can only get 500 on eBay. I'm like, so you got a good deal, right, at 300 No, if I sell it for 500 I have to sit. I can give you, like, 50 I'm like, okay, meet me tomorrow at uh, 4 in the morning. You don't open till 9. I'm like, yeah, but just stay there till 4. Okay, you did research everything. Okay, so you did the right thing. That's good. So, but, uh, and we sold it in my store all the time. The crazy thing I sold in my store, we found it. It actually was part of a record deal, too. We found this old um, Dynaco amplifier with tubes. And it was like a homemade kit, but it, was, it looked like mint condition. And I looked on eBay, and they were going like 300 400 One time, one sold for like 650 That was really nice, like ours. I found that through Worth Point. So I figured it, it brings about, and don't quote me the price. I roughly remember the price. I might have told the story. It was a little bit different. But I figured I should get about 700 on eBay, and it would be a slow sell at 700 So I didn't have time to list it yet, so I just put it in my store, six ninety nine ninety nine. I came to the store the next day after filming, walk in. I see the amp is gone. I'm like, what happened to the amp? He's like, oh, somebody bought it. I'm like, how much? And my first thought was like, oh, my God, my employees made a mistake. And uh, they said, what it was priced? 700 I'm like, really? So some collector just came in that liked it, and he saw him. So what's up, Swamp Picker? So, um, yeah, so you never know. People buy it. I mean, retail locations are good, too. And records, people used to complain about our prices all the time, especially the dealers. But all the time, like, you know, at least three, four times a day, uh, a week, we would have somebody come in and spend three, four hundred dollars on records. And then every day we had people coming in and spending twenty to a hundred dollars on records. Okay, somebody said record grade. So, re but records sell great in my store, especially here in California. I don't know how it's in different states, but we made so much money with records. Anything vintage, audio, video, video games, obviously. And, P and those dealers always complain about the prices, but I tell them, like, look, I'm not here. I'm not trying to sell to resell. I'm like, I'm nothing against resellers. I'm a reseller, but I'm looking for the end money. If I still had my store, I would buy the whole collection from you. Tell you, drive it out to me, you know, see how much I would cut. But I don't know, it might be a little bit far. Renee, I'm investing my money in stuff I would flip. I like when I do it also roofing, paying really good as well. I don't know what I want to do long term, either resell or work, roofing, any advice? Well, I mean, I know what I want to do. So I, I must, well, I guess my first question is do you own your own roofing company or you go to work for somebody? That's the big question right there. And remember, that's just, I can give you my advice, my opinion, but at the end of the day, I don't know you, I don't know the inner you, and I don't know all, all, all the stuff. Yeah, so I know I had a couple of roofers work for me in the past, and they all said just what Shriker just said. Roofing is really hard on your body. It's a dangerous job. So the biggest question, do you own the roofing company, or do you just go to work for somebody roofing? And also, if you're okay to say it, how much do you make an hour being a roofer? I'm assuming you work for somebody. Work for someone else, but like someone high. You make 35 bucks an hour. All right, 35 bucks an hour is not that much money. So um, it's good for a job. But if you're a dedicated reseller, 
you should make a lot more than 35 bucks an hour. Now, here's the thing. You know, you're going to have some months where you might maybe make 15 bucks an hour, but then you're going to have some month where it comes down to 300 bucks an hour. It depends on the fines. Um, benefits, health insurance, and can cost you ton. Most roofers don't get health insurance or benefits. Um, the ones I know, at least here in California, unless you work for some kind of big, big corporation. Um, you know, but again, I mean, I, I do my own health insurance. I do my own benefits. I have rules every so much money I make. I'll put back into like retirement stuff, investment stuff like this. Uh, I love roofing. I do it about once every 30 years. Yeah, I don't do it either. I'll pay somebody. Um, but it's a tough job. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just a strong believer personally. I don't like working for other people. If I want to be a roof, roofer, you're just 20 at 30, 35 bucks an hour is 20 good. Are you a dedicated person? Can you go out there? See, most 20-year-old problems, they have a hard time going to yard sales on Saturday because Friday nights they want to be out with girls and drinking and partying, you know. So, um, you know, being self-employed, especially if you do most of your money through yard sales or even swap meets or even if you buy storages, a lot of it is on the weekend. So to be self-employed, you really have to be dedicated. You really have to um, make that your prayer. No drinking or party for me. Well, that's that's a good benefit, and there's nothing wrong with that. You should explore life at a young person, you know. You know, um, <clears throat> but you still want to make good choices. So I don't want to say everything because every time I talk about that, people just get offended. They think I'm talking about them. You want to make as good choice as possible for the long term. Now's the time to earn the money. If you can be super dedicated and work hard and be like, okay, I'm just going to do this, you'll make more money being a reseller. You know, it's also going to be much better on your body. What's good, what's good, Lamar? But, um, you know, but I don't believe in, wow. <whistles> king seven just busted king queen. Somebody just got a bony. But, um. I also take some trips. I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm assuming vacations. So that's good. But, I mean, I think you can make more than 35 bucks an hour resale. It also depends how much money do you have. Do you have... Um, it just takes dedication. You know, that's what it is. You know, like, if you really... If, if you're going to do... I mean, just... You can also try, you know, do part resale like you do. Do part and see how you do. Like with those record deals, your first thing should be, if you're going to be a reseller... Chick, Jack 6 offsuit we fold. Um, if you're going to be a reseller... You should be in those records right now. You said you have sixteen thousand records, I believe. You should go through and pick out. Hopefully, you can five find five hundred killer records or thousand killer records that are like you know twenty bucks and twenty bucks or more, and get those on eBay ASAP. I wasted years making others rich. Yes, small time gifts. I have a lot of people that say that too. Like if I'm gonna work hard and take risks, I don't want to do it for other people. That's it. You know, self employed. You know, the only thing I do it for other people's on Storage Wars. And I make a lot of money on Storage Wars, but trust me, there's people that make way more money that, you know, executives, producers, and stuff like this. And that's fine. You know, they put it together. But, <clears throat> you know, I've been offered a couple of other shows, and I'm like, well, unless I'm a producer on it, I have no interest. Because that's where the real money is at. So, and I don't care about being famous. I mean, I always tell young people, bet on yourself. That's a strong belief for me. But like I said, being a reseller... Wow, we had the same three people in the last time quote, bet's big. I'm just going to check. That's a dangerous board. Any eight is a straight. King, queen is a straight. Quill bet the flop. He bets 50,000 on the river. Flush gets there. Last time he bet, Quill raised it and then he folded. He bluffed. He tried to buy it last time. So it would be surprising if he does exactly the same thing again. She wow, that's exactly how it played last time. She bet the flop, me and him both call. 
I have Jack 10, obviously, top two pair here. Uh, flush gets there. Any eight is a straight. King, queen gets there. Any set. It's just funny that this exactly played. Last time he bet, then he raises. Let's see America and check. I mean, there's a small chance that Quill remembers that these check players are always super aggressive. That, that you know, last time he took a bluff at the river too. I'm going to fold because I don't know if they're just trying to outbet each other. I mean, I have jacks and tens. It's a lot of stuff that beats me here, though. All right, fold. Save my time bank. I was going to call the 50,000. Full. That's exactly how it went last time. Exact same way. Bet, call, call, check, 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 bet, raise, fold, fold. Between two players. Probably, for, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen that many showtimes from Quill Givens. I'm, I'm not paying, like, normally I pay a lot more attention, but I'm talking to you guys, so I'm not paying attention. But, um, but it's also, um, I mean, it, it could make sense a backdoor flush, you know, bet the flop, picks up straws in a turn. Also, it would make sense that you could have King Queen there, you bet the flop. I think there would have been a gut shot draw on the flop. Oh no, the gut shot might have been picked up with a turn. You bet the flop and then the, on the turn you check, you pick it up, you get there. You know, um, how much poke in your opinion is psycho psychology compared to guard skill? It depends on the player. I mean, it also depends on your playing style. Some people just play straight up percentages and poker. Some people play other stuff. Okay, this guy raises again. I was going to fold up 10-9 offsuit. I'm a retired teacher reselling is the best business for a person like me to make big bucks after the career is over. Reselling is great for everybody. I mean, especially if you have a retirement income already coming in. And it also depends what level do you want to do it. So this Czech guy seems to be pretty aggressive. I need to start paying attention to some showdowns. Not a Russian Federation. U UK, Czech. Oh, the Quill is United States. Check. United Kingdom, Austria. Ship fast. Psychology is more important than life games, I think. I also invest in sports cards. And you, I buy a lot of sports cards. Um, you know, there's a market for them, but I don't know. That's not a, that good of a safe investment. If you're going to invest in sports cards, you should buy sealed product. So don't buy carts and players and stuff like this unless you get it super cheap and you can flip it right away. The market is way overhyped right now, so sealed product is the much safer investment. What's up, Rockfish reseller? So there's a bunch of resellers in here. You can also ask them their opinions, but I have Ace-10 suited. I'm just going to fold this guy. just going to bet the whole time anyway. All right, getting cold. Hands, we can see flops, but not hitting. All right, let's see a flop. We got a pocket pair. But yeah, no, I, I'm a believer. If you ask me, I invest in myself. I wouldn't go to work for somebody else. Especially at 20, you don't have that much stuff to risk. You should, now's the time you should figure it out. But just remember that you have to make it happen. Don't just... um. You know, make a little bit of money, then party. Make it happen and build it. So I'm assuming you don't have a wife, you don't have kids, which maybe you do. Yeah, that's so that's great. So th that type of price range, is in, that's fine. You know, you buy stuff. 
cheap, that's good. But I wouldn't buy like, you know, you know, people selling five and ten and twenty thousand dollar cards. I do some of that, but I'm in a different I'm assuming since you you're young, I'm in a different financial situation than you. But the best in sports cards, sealed product, and just hold. We'll flip it quick. But like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on. Stock market, housing market, a lot, a lot of you know, cryptocurrency. A lot of it's going down. So a lot of these people have spent a lot of money on that stuff. They're just going to hold up for a bit. But that's a great time to buy, too. Damn, last four hands were played. Terrible flops. 277. Average stack is 459. Rico said, I got money to buy a new truck, but my truck work is fine. It's a 93 Chevy truck. I should have got a new truck, but just keep one. Why, why would you spend a bunch of money in a new truck if you don't need it? I'm driving right now a 2010 Lexus. So we always had new Mercedes as we usually leased them. I was gonna buy a Dodge for like sixty seven thousand, but then the dealer tried to screw me like on a three thousand dollar discount right before COVID. So I'm like, I'm not gonna buy it. Cause like just the, the way he tried to do it, I don't like it. And uh, <clears throat> right now cars are so overpriced. If you have a working vehicle, why buy one? You'd be better off just holding that money and wait till the stock market kind of bottoms out and invest it, or just buy and sell stuff with it. Unless you have a crap load of money and it doesn't make a difference in your life. But still, like, I mean, I have a bunch of money available and I can pretty much buy anything I want to when it comes to vehicles or at least anything I want to. But I just, I think the prices are ridiculous. You know, you're 20 years old. Maybe you want to impress girls and stuff. So maybe it's a little different. But I mean, if I had a good running truck and you don't need it, I wouldn't buy another truck. But that's also if you're going to be in a reselling business. Um. Oh, a mile of cars for seven years. Yeah, so you know, yeah. They always lie about everything, and then the math doesn't make sense. They would think you're stupid. So we'll probably lease a couple Mercedes again, or maybe buy a Dodge truck, but not right now. Just price. Like, I looked at a Dodge truck the other day. It's like, okay, it's sticker price, uh, 64000 and then we want to charge 15000 premium. I'm like, go ahead and keep it. It's like, come on, let's make a deal. I'm like, you're so ridiculous. You, just, you guys just go ahead and keep it. I'll buy it when all the markets collapse and you're going to be begging people to buy cars. Then I'll come buy it. Then you can give me a $50 discount. Yeah, you got to figure out what you want long term, you know. Think about it this way. Once you make the buying decision, you can't take it back. If you make the decision to hold on for a little while, you can always take that back. Yeah. Buy and sell is the quickest way to grow if you have the knowledge. Just got to put in the work. If you're not willing to put in the work, then stay with the job. When I was your age, sometimes I would have 20-hour days. Yeah, so I said my F-250 is worth twice what I paid for it four years ago. I know it's stupid right now. There was a lot of free money out there, a lot of markets going up, and people just spending with no thinking. But I think that's all about to change. That's why we don't own stocks. We don't own crypto. We basically sold all the investments. We have a lot of, obviously, merchandise. And we're constantly buying. But um, the other stuff, we're waiting. When it hits, and people always say it's never go, go down. One of my best friends, he bought a house last time the market crashed like this. Before the crash, the house was selling for $1.1 million, $1.15 million. By the time the market crashed, the bank sold it to him for 550000 so, timing. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to stretch my legs.
Yeah, that's cool. See, that, that's the stuff you make money for. And eventually buy storage units. Yeah, no, lock and nuts, those are not typical of the business. But number one, you compete with a lot of money with people if those units are typical. Like, if I would have seen those units, you know, in California, and you can tell, I mean, it's hard to tell when you first see it, but I just spent twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on those units. But I usually don't speculate that much on individual players unless I get really rare cards. So if you want to speculate on sports cards, you remember if you have, buy sealed product, you speculate on a lot of players. But I did, so I, and I buy a lot of Panini Instant, but I only just buy the one on ones. Like this right here is Austin Reese from the Lakers. It's a one on one rookie card. I paid 100 bucks from Panini directly. You know, let's see how he does next year. I mean, he has freak athletic abilities. Let's see if he gets a chance. All right, I think we should get ready for another trivia question, too. So after the break, we'll do the trivia question. If you guys haven't done it yet, go to America's Card Room, download the software. Bonus code Renee. These trivia questions are too easy. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to. We got two sixty seven. We lost about eighty thousand dollars just seeing flops, but we had good flop cards. Fortunately, no flop. Man, these are all like really easy questions. Let me try to get something a little bit harder. Make sure you have an ACR account. Okay, I'm going to play a not so good hand. That's my lucky hand. Let's see if we can get lucky in the tournament. We'll just see a flop. It's only twice the blind. 46 big blind. It's not a good call. I don't encourage this, but we haven't been hitting with good hands, so let's try this hand. This is usually my lucky hand. Check, check. Spades get there in a turn. Okay, let's bet twice the blind. Against the Austrian guy, ship fast. Calls. Fold. My lucky hand is king nine. Can't hit anything with good hands. Gotta go with lucky hands. You know what? Whatever. Whatever works. We'll go with lucky. Oh, we got another playable hand. Hold on a second. Hold on. Uh, we'll see a flop with this one. A lot of possibilities here. Small blind calls. Call on, call big blind, so I get like to have three to one of my money. That's nice. He 
race pre flop. We're not checking. We bet twenty thousand. Quill calls. Flush gets there. Another ten hits. King Jack gets there. Jack eight gets there. Checked. Eighty four thousand. We call. We win with trip tens. Yes, he tried to bluff with ace king. That's why we checked the turn, you know. If I bet the turn, obviously ace high falls. Quill didn't even fold the river. Let me see. Did he have a. Um, we had jack 10. Let's see here. Oh, come on, loading. Come on, load. Man, I have such slow internet for some reason there. So we induce we induce a bluff on the river by checking the turn. And our hand is strong enough with trip tens. I bet the flop, so they're probably not gonna put me in. So he wasn't even free roll, he didn't even have an ace on the turn. So if I bet the turn, he doesn't even call. But because I checked the river with that river card coming, he tried to go or like he thinking, you know, since I already checked the turn, he's trying to take a stab at it. It's funny, with that flop queen ten, I was like, oh I probably don't want to hit my jack on the turn in case he raised ace king. So 465, now we back to average stack. That's good. We had ace for this hand. We didn't do it, so. All right, trivia time, guys. Trivia time, 2%. Jack on the river would have been nice. That would have given him the Broadway straight and me a full house. That would have been sexy time. Uh... Oh, that's nasty. Ugh. That's interesting. So I guess that must be a definition. I've never heard this before, so I don't want to argue about the answer. I'm going to go with the answer that we say, okay, guys? So, I mean, I think that's the right answer, but it's for 2% of the... I don't know, hold on, let me see this flop. So. Let's see if somebody can get the right answer on this. I guess there must be definition somewhere. I always like it when I see new stuff that I didn't know about. And remember, we go with what our rulings are. We're giving away money for free. It doesn't cost you nothing. So let's not argue in case. Sometimes we get new people arguing. Our regulars never argue, but some of them might argue. So take this opportunity. Download America's Card Room Software ACR. We poo race it pre flop to like just a little bit too big blinds. He checks. So we'll throw a little bet out here. We hit the flop. Button falls. So now we in position. Now we're playing against a pre flop razor. He falls. We had Queen Jack. We flopped second best pair. We took a little bet out there. Over half a million of chips.
This is good. I'm trying. Like, I hate asking the trigger question because I keep on trying. Another hand to play. I keep on trying to ask the question, but now we're getting hands and actually hitting flops. So let's just wait. Trivia question goes as soon as we cool off. Hold on, guys. Stick with it. All right, let's see a flop. We're playing it very conservatively. We're making small bets. We're not going crazy. Money management, our chips. We're up to half a million chips, so a little bit above average stack, so that's good. The huge stack makes it 22,000, three and a half times blind, almost actually four times blind. Small blind calls. I'm getting two to one on my money. I'm going to call with my hand. <clears throat> Check small plan checks. Let's see what the button does. Mama, do we hit the flops though? Checks okay. Tashi Kistanama checks. So we'll put a $16,000 bet in. The razor calls. The river card is an eight. Shit, I hate to turn card. Flush gets there too. Damn, why couldn't a turn be like a deuce? I will right, we'll check. Let's see what the button does. Seventy one thousand. Check the flop bets the river. Let's see what the small blind does. Wow, the small blind calls. I have ace eight here, so I mean I can't beat ace nine, I can't beat a queen, I can't beat the flush. Ace eight, I can't be good here. I'm gonna have to fold. I'm gonna fold. Queen ten and ace five. Now he called it ace five, and the queen he made trip queens. What did he raise pre flop four big blinds? Let's see that real quick. Fold on the button. Come on, my internet's not low. He had queen five, right? Oh no, he has replay right here. I should have bet the flop. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm re-watching the replay because I'm on a delay here, obviously, a little bit. Oh, I missed it. Did you guys see he had queen five, right? He made trip queens. So he raised on the button, queen five suited. Okay. Guess that's how you get the chips. All right. Here's the trivia question. Oh, wait, let's play our blinds and button really quick. Then we ask the trivia question. God, and this guy had ace five. If I bet the flop, it's probably gonna call me down with ace five. How do you call ace five in that situation? You got a better behind you. You got a bet. Trip queens get there, flush gets there, and you can't beat ace nine because the board is aces and queens and an eight. How do you call ace five there? I laid down ace five. Oh, he had queen ten on the button. Okay, queen ten. Still a crappy hand, but better than queen five. How do you call ace five there? You still have somebody behind you too. Uh, okay, we're just going to defend the blind because it's one blind. We're going to check the quill. That's 20,000. Both guys call, so we're going to raise it to 65,000. The better falls, both falls. We, we defended the blind with king four offsuit. He only made a min race, so we saw the flop. Dangerous board, straight draw out there. Flush draw out there. You know, even if they have any hand like king jack, king queen, king ten. I don't want to just call and then then they make the second bet pair. So And they put 40,000 in there plus their three. So sixty thousand. It's a, like we increased our st stack by ten percent just by raising. 
you need your eyes checked. <laughs> All right, do we have somebody in Florida that can go over to Lisa's house and give an eye example real quick? All right. Okay, but let's see. Okay, the button is 4 7 off, so we're going to fold that no matter what. All right, here's the trivia question, guys, for 2%. Make sure you sign up with America's Card Room. It answers questions on YouTube. The question is this is crazy, but here, this is the answer, okay? Has to be the exact answer that I have, guys. How long is a moment? How long is a moment? How long is a moment? Wow, chat went quiet. One second. Nope. Not that long. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Ninety seconds. Lady Antiques is right. She was she was the fastest. Barely beat out Smooth JJ. And then John Mickey, Lady Antiques was the fastest, so I am Rue. 90 seconds. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you guys actually know that, or did you have to Google that? I have three people that got it right, and they're pretty much close to the same time. I am Rue wins this one. Did you Did you guys know that a moment is considered 90 seconds? Because I didn't know that. I can't hold my breath for a moment. You had She Googled it? Okay, so I know Lady is fast with Google. How about Smooth JJ or John McPhee? You guys were the backups. Did you guys know or did you Google too? I had no idea. Smile time says I'm just stabbing. You know I'm not Googling it with wrong answers. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. John said Google, okay. Yeah, so actually, so I thought that was a good answer. I would think the same thing, that like a moment is a second, right? That's a moment to me, but smooth as please to fifth. Okay, I'm going to take this as a Google. There's nothing wrong with Google. Hey, Google the answers, you know? So I try to get questions where some people, if they know, they can be the fastest. So uh, eBay says, yeah, I spent many moments watching Rainy Three Years on Storage Wars on YouTube. <laughs> Robert says he Googled it, but he wasn't fast enough. Yeah, we got some fast Googlers. I was trying to find stuff maybe that... It's not as easy to Google, or maybe it's a more complicated answer. I'll get a harder one next time. But yeah, I didn't know that either. So see, that's fun. We we, we all learned something new. Ooh, we got a hundred fifty thousand dollar bet against a big stack. I had Jack Ford at hand. A moment is ninety seconds. We learned something new. Let's go, America's Card Room. In the house. We have to half a million chips, which puts us a little bit above average, and it puts us 77 out of 232. We're going to make a little bit of a race here. Let's see this hand. Quill call. Quill is almost every hand, by the way. Hey, Robert just gave us a super chat. What's up, Robert? $1.99. Thank you, buddy. It's been a long time since we got super chats. We usually just get super chats. Uh... We usually just get super chats when we do um, the live chats. I mean, when we do uh, this stupid pot, hold on. We usually just get super chats when we do like uh, Q and A's and stuff like this. Cut seven eight <laughs> straight. Nice. Yeah, let me put some notes in this uh, large range note. So he's not necessarily green. Call him yellow. It's medium, uh, and then uh, huge range of hands. Free flop. Free flop. Also plays a lot of hands. Have you guys seen this new future feature on America's Card Room? Now you can give colors to everybody. So I use like dark green for super fish, light green for fishy, yellow for neutral, and then red for like don't play that person. Or they're super tight. So you can see now like his name is boxed with a yellow around. So if I play that person again, I'll get notes.
Uh, you can also put a name and attack area. I'll go live at actual casinos. So I was talking to my buddies over at ACR before when I go to Costa Rica and do the cage event. We were going to do something where I'm going to go live. They have the live dealer sections. I was going to deal you guys some hands of blackjack or spin the roulette wheel or something like that. Somebody said you can put the name in there. Let me see. Note. Oh, label name. Oh, okay, label name. Cool, I didn't see that. Thank you. Label name. Uh, medium. And then uh, label name. Light fish. Oh, you know, I don't think I did it. Hold on. I have to do it when I actually do it. Hold on. Note, label name, medium. Okay, so now I got a label name. Okay. Yellow is medium. And then I adjust it as I go because I play hands with them. So next time we go to Costa Rica for... um. For the cage, we'll probably do some live stuff. All right, see you, small town gifts. Good luck at USPS. And I'm also supposed to go to Uruguay in October for, I forgot the name of the tournament, but it's the big tournament that America's Card remotes out there. And they have a live casino. Maybe we'll do something live there. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a live stream. I have to buy an IRL pack and then do it in real life. And maybe we'll just do a live stream and play some live gambling. Oh, they've been going live, um, like just live at the poker table? How did, did they just go live with the phone or do they got the whole in uh, IRL setup? Oh, that's cool. How many viewers you get for slots in your live streams? I, I've seen people do it. I know they really like it. With the phones, okay. Maybe I'll go live on a crazy poker game that I play. Let's see. Um, if I can get good enough internet out there, we'll just live stream it. We're just bluffing with 10 for offsuit, but I don't think he was calling, so we just bluffed there. Harris, well, that's cool. But I also, so I play in private games. They'll let me go live. They probably don't want me to show their faces, but they'll let me go live in the game. Maybe I'll do it when we play and I just set up my live room and I'll show you guys every hand we play. I don't know if they want to do it because they like their privacy, but we'll try. Well, I know America's Card Room will let me do it in Uruguay and also in uh, at the Cage event. I'm sure they'll let me. We have Jack eight that hand, so we're setting at a half a million chips, about average. Seventy nine out of two twenty nine. 2.30. About to come up to five hours streaming. Thank you for everybody that stuck around. Another seven hours to go. We're going to give away more prices. Haven't busted anybody yet, but now we're starting to get to the time where I think busts are definitely becoming a possibility. So I'll ask my contacts at ACR, maybe when we do the Uruguay thing, maybe we'll live stream a whole tournament. You guys can follow along. Swamp picker closing time. Do you have a store swamp picker? 
Oh, yeah, so 2.30, so you must be in the East Coast, 6 o'clock. See you later, Swamp. Thanks for stopping by. $200,000 bet on the river. And a 300, that's a huge pot. Ooh, that's a big decision. I guess a straight gets there. 74, if you call that. I don't see how the hand played out. I've been paying attention. The Austrian boy has a big decision. So Rehar correct our bet twice. Big bets on the river. And both times he got raised and fo folded. This time he bet enough where nobody can raise him anymore. So, um, ship fast has to make a decision. Oh, you work at a bike shop. Okay, cool. You got it. Jack dues offsuit on the button. We have to fold, even though the big blind, even though the big blind is, um, Even though the big blind is not there, so just a small blind. Let's see, maybe he doesn't see it. Even though that guy plays a lot of hands too, but let's see if we can go for a steal here. He folded. So big blind should automatically fold. We just stole it. Got it. Oh, what happened? I am back. I won it, right? Yeah, I did win it. My modem is messed up. Oh yeah, old bikes are definitely popular. We we'll bet, we'll bet again and we raise again, men race. Small blind is back, so we just stole his big blind. He re-raises to 39,000. I got ace nine off suit, I'm gonna fold. Even though that guy plays a lot of hands, we're just gonna fold. Let it go, let it go. My hand is not strong enough to go 3-betting. 5-3 offsuit fold. Hey, uh, Robert, how many viewers do you get when you play live slots? Oh, my switch plate knife is messed up, but it was a really cheap one. It's an old one, but lost a spring or something. Queen deuce off suit, we have to fold. Let's see if some of these other streamers are still in. Let's go. Um, let's see who's still streaming Venom. Jeff Bosky, he's probably in. He plays pretty. He plays pretty tight. ACR used to highlight a lot of my hands when I played, but like lately they haven't done that much. They like really concentrating on their pros, which is cool. Oh, he's offline, so he must have busted. Yeah, he lasted for an hour and twenty-two minutes, and then let's see, uh, Ebony. If she's still going. She's still playing. Let's see what she has. Let me check my hands real quick. Uh, Queen Deuce offsuit. We didn't play. She's still playing. Let's see what she has. 77 viewers. Deuce 8 offsuit. Easy fold. You would do very well because he's a celebrity. Yeah, Ape Style is still in. Yeah, he's a good player too. Commercial. Oh, that's the replay. She has 
20 big blinds. Oh, she has a hand to ace queen. Ghost of M is in her chat. 7 8 offsuit folded. She has 20 big blinds. What do we have? We have 82. Yeah, and you know what? She just was talking about, too, about that Puntus Pat thing. People were asking me messages if I'm part of that. I'm not part of that. That's only for their, uh, that's only for the ACR pros, which I'm not I'm an ambassador. It's different. I'm a brand ambassador. And, you know, she was also just talking about now they're going to play a lot of tournaments at Orleans. I won't play any Orleans tournaments. I'm only going to play World Series of Poker events. Unless there's like a do seven triple draw somewhere, I might play that because I like playing stuff like that. But I'm not gonna be part of the Puntus Pat, so maybe I'll stop by. I don't know. We'll see, but probably not. Do my own thing. Like when I go to the World Series, I really get into poker and I just just do that. Last time I went was 2019. I played six hold'em events. I cashed four of those six, including one I came in twelfth out of twenty eight hundred players. Oh, I, I came in 13, so you can look at Hen and Mob. That's like 12 spots from a bracelet. That sucked. So. And then, you know, I'm going to play the $1,500 do 7 triple draw event. I think that's like on the 7th or 8th. So I'll definitely be in town for that. I like playing stuff like that. Uh, I'll probably play some Omaha high tournaments, high low tournaments. And then obviously hold them stuff. And then let's see if I come back for the main event if I have time. I'm also going to play a bunch of satellites there. I like playing the single table satellites. So we'll see. What's up, Port Charlottesville, Florida? Deuce 8 off suit. I cannot define it. You can do it. You can do it all night. Oh, 86. Average stack is 521. 223 players left with 90 spot. You could stop in and say hi on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday for the America's Card Room Twitch show with Fat Train. Stop in where? You mean at the Puntus Pat? I'm buddies with Fat Train. He's a good guy. Yeah, I might. We'll see. I mean, like, so that stuff is done by a different company that um, does some of the promo, and I'm not really part of that. I'm through Endgame Talent. So they kind of do their stuff. I do my stuff. Um. So, but we'll see. I mean, that's nothing planned, but who knows what happens. Pretty spontaneous. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping I'm hoping my buddy Juan comes out from America's card room when I'm out there. So if he comes out, I'm sure we're gonna have some cool giveaways and stuff like that. Hit you guys up with some um hit you guys up with some gear too. Also working, I might be wearing ACR logo stuff on Storage Wars. Show my love for Poker and the number one Poker site I love. So we'll see. Working on that. I'm definitely, so when I'm playing, I'm definitely going to wear some ACR gear at the tournaments. Yeah, I'm sure I can go to the um, the, the America's Card Room show. I just have to make a phone call. So, I'm sure I'm welcome to all those places. I'm just not a part of it. The company who does it, they have their own people. They bring on some of the ACR pros, and I'm just not part of that. You know, it's um, it's like with football. You know, I'm the different GM's draft pick, which is fine. Same thing with Chris Moneymaker. He does a lot of his own stuff too. Oh, I just realized I'm in the wrong window. Uh, same thing with Chris Moneymaker. He does a lot of his own um, 
own stuff. Spam us back. Um, yeah, I don't think Money Maker is part of the Puntus Pat, but he'll probably stop by on some event. Let me actually, I'll text message him. I ask him. Let's see if Chris is around. Damn, this guy three bets me every time now. Okay, I'll fold. So we did it twice. Next time we're going to bankrupt you. Oh my god, I sound like Phil Helmut. Oh my god, I'm just setting you up. Let's see, Chris Moneymaker. Let me find him. Me and Chris were actually going to stream together, but then we both got busy. I'm going to ask him. I already know the answer. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be part of it. But Let's ask him. Let's not spread false news. He's going to be part of that Pontus Pat at the WSOP. So I think, Chris, most of the time, where's your baby wife at? What? Where's your baby wife at? Let's see if he responds. He should. What time is in Tennessee? Like 5, 6 o'clock. We call pre-flop. We just checked. Oh, that's a shitty turn. That's a shitty turn. That's a shitty turn. 530, yeah. 18,000. I'm just, I mean, that guy's such a huge range. That's such a small bet. He probably has it, but we're going to call. He had queen six off suited. I had ace jack. Ah, that plays a lot of cards. You know what? We're going to change his color. He's got to be light green. Okay, so Chris just sent me back. He's just playing the main, which I thought he would. Um, okay, we'll just change to green. Uh... So Chris is not going to be part of the Puntus Pad. He's playing just the main event. <laughs> Chris wrote back, sweet. How do you miss the main? I'm undecided. <laughs> He's like, mm, yeah. Let me say, I'll probably play. I am more excited about deuce dash seven triple draw. I love stuff like that. That's what I wish I tell ACR all the time. I'm like, you guys got to get deuce seven triple draw. That would be so fun to play. Honestly, I played so much Hold'em in my life. Like, I love it, and I think I'm halfway decent at it. But, uh, what's up, Mr. Sadie? But, um, like, I like playing other games like, you know, Stud High Low, Omaha, Triple Draw, different games. I wrote, I probably play. I'm more excited about Do 7 Triple Draw. He hasn't said anything back yet. He's probably rolling his eyes right now. <sighs> I 
it also depends on what my storage was contract too, because they have so many newbies now, so they always try to give us less episodes, because they work for like cheap. Are we going deep today? I don't know. We're still early. We're like a little hundred thousand below average stack. We'll see. We need to get a big show on hand again. Um. So we'll see what what episodes they give me. If they give me less episodes, I might just take all of June off and get June the first week of July, and um. And just uh, go play like a month at the World Series. Just get an Airbnb for a month or something. I don't know. All right, let me check Airbnbs right now. Yeah, yes, for the month of June. Uh, where's my software? Uh, Airbnb. I usually like hotels, but Las Vegas. Find a monthly stay. Let's say June 1st through June 7th, five weeks. Twenty five hundred for the month, not bad. But I want to be if I'm gonna stay in an Airbnb, I want to be in like in a tower. I don't want to be in the city somewhere. Much cheaper the hotel though. I'll look online later. Okay, well, relax in the boat we'll see. Why is it so dark? Uh, I always play well. Thank you, thank you. I don't always play well, but I just made a loose call with Ace Check, cost me thirty thousand in chips, but it's against a guy that has a huge range, so. Get queen five of hearts that hand. Technically, I probably could call and stay at the punter's pad for free if I wanted to. I guess if I pushed it, but they have too much craziness going on, which is great entertainment. But when I go, I care mainly about the poker. Have I knocked anybody out yet? Nope. Not yet. Chris didn't write back after I said I'm more excited about 2-7 triple draw. Probably thinks I'm crazy. But that's okay. Crazy is fun. Here, after the next break, when's the next break coming up? I feel like we should have a trivia question again. Uh, next break. Next break, 12 minutes. So after the next break, we'll do another trivia question. Okay, we got a hand. We can defend the blind wit. Of course, he raises the button. He raises a lot of hands. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. And then we'll do another trivia question. <laughs> oh, 57,000. I was going to call 15. I got king four diamonds. We're not calling for that much. 
I was going to call it 15 because that would have only been like another 8,000 roughly, 9,000. Should play some music in the background. Let's see. YouTube. Put on the Rocky soundtrack. That's what I do at the World Series a lot of times. There we go. You guys shouldn't hear the music because I've turned my desktop audio off because I can't play it because of copyrights. So if you hear the music, tell me. Ashley Sheet, I don't know what that is. Should up the ante to 50. Okay, Mike, whatever you want to throw in, send PayPal, I'll match it. So you want to PayPal over 100 bucks, we'll give it away, I'll match it, we'll make it a $200 giveaway. That's a queen. What did he raise pre flop? Yes. I need to start re raising pre flop at a6. Let people take too much control of my plans. <whistles> Stupid queen five suited. Okay. <sighs> Didn't miss nothing exciting. I just gave a stupid hand away. That's because I'm arguing with somebody. Mike says that, that I'm giving away money is not enough. We should up it. So I offered him if he wants to send 100 bucks over to PayPal, I'll match it and we give away 200. Mike's score can six. It's funny. Whenever it's, it's like, last time I gave a homeless person, I give this guy like 10 bucks and he's like, oh, you should give me more. You have any more money? Give me more. I'm like, pfft. Give me my freaking 10 bucks back. It's like I'm giving away stuff for free. It's like it's never enough. It's like, oh, you got to give me more. You got to give me more. So. So, Mike, are you matching? You want more money in the pot? Are you matching or not? Since 25 is not enough. I'm pretty sure, by the way, I'm like one of the only poker streamers that constantly gives away money for free. Of actual money from my account, not hosting free rolls or whatever. Pretty sure. We had a suited in that one. Uh, but we missed a flop. We just won with a bet. I know that Mama do at least place halfway normal. Take a chill pill. I am chill. But I'm giving away a whole bunch of money. I mean, last time we gave away 1700 you're like, oh, you need to double it. I'm like, okay. Well, you know, I get a lot of that, especially, when, you know, in the storage business. People say, oh, you should give this away for free. You should do this. You should do this. So sometimes, um, you know, I call people out. I'm like, you're so generous with my money. Why don't you match it? If you want to give away 100 bucks, I'll match it. Or you only want somebody to be generous with money if you don't want receiving. See, that's the difference. But if you PayPal over 100 bucks right now, I'll give away 200 right now, but you can't win. Sit here for five hours to win. So, well, if you're only here to win something, go away. I tell you what, I'll do you a favor. I'll make the decision for you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hide your username on the channel right now. So this way, you can never even answer. So even if you answer, I won't see your answer. Because you're complaining that you're sitting here for five hours for Milch. You're missing the whole point of this community, of this channel, of this group. Because if you're just here to win 25 bucks, you should go somewhere else. So I'm going to hide you using the channel so we'll never see your comments again. And here you go. You're hidden. So I won't, I won't see your message anymore. So now, just so you know, if you sit here with that same username, you'll never win, even if you first.
There you go. So make that easy for you. So now you, if you leave comments, I'm not even seeing anymore. People are never grateful, Liam. Like some people are, but there's always somebody out there. You know, it's just like it's never enough. It's never good enough. But I hit his username, so now I mean, now if you're sitting there, you can answer all the questions you want to. I'll never see it. You'll never win. Five hours for twenty five bucks. You should you should hang out because you're having fun. You're part of the community. You know, I don't even need support. Just have fun because you're part of the community. We play trivia. We ask questions. We get to see some poker hands. You know, I don't show my hands, but the big hands that we're obviously talking about. Yeah, it's easy to spend my money. Let's spend Mr. Sadie's money. I think Mr. Sadie should do a ten thousand dollar giveaway, a hundred thousand dollar giveaway. <laughs> you missed the drama. No drama. It's just like I don't know. He was complaining that he's sitting there for five hours and he doesn't win silver. So I did my favor. I just blocked his username so he doesn't have to waste his time sitting here. Much easier. Uh, I don't know. I think last year we probably gave away on Venom tournaments. I have to go back and look, but I'm guessing three, four thousand dollars. I don't know. So. Then Julian says, quick honey slot goes live playing Keen at some racetrack casino in Ohio. They take out numbers. They offered money on a few occasions if they hit a jackpot. You're the only one. You're the only one to do this. Okay, cool. Yeah, I try to give money away. You know, I mean, it's not the world, but if you're here just for the money, I mean, there's better things you can do in your life. I know, right? Small time. I left for 15 minutes to call and get propane. <laughs> I'm here to spend time with my favorite store for celebrity. Awesome. Thank you. Here's an odd thought. Some of us just think it's really cool that Renee to chat with his fans. How many TVs does Kenny have real time conversation with? Thanks, Renee. You're welcome, eBay. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys know I don't consider myself a star. I'm very famous. Or like, I don't even consider it famous. I'm well known. But So, you know, we're playing some poker. We're having fun. I'll give away some money if we go. Hey, sometimes Shrike, you know, Shrike always is a percent of whatever I win anyway. And trust me, you can ask Shrike. We've done like 13 hour sessions. Like, Shrike, did we bust out one time, like, literally two minutes before the day was over with, like, a big pair? Thank you, Justin. He said it doesn't agree. So, you know, if you're here just for money, there's much better things you can do with your life. If you have nothing to do or you want to hang out or you, like, enjoy seeing poker, Ace-10 versus 5-10, that is sick. The Ace-10 does hold up, though. Um, if you're here just to uh, hang out, Back-to-back -back day, 13 hours each day. Yeah, so Shrika remembers. That happens sometimes. I can't guarantee a win. But who knows? You know, we came with an 81. I think one time we came with like 90-something. Uh, I know one time with like 160 or so. You know, that's 80 places away from a million dollars. So I can't guarantee it. Plenty of people think you're a star. Thank, thank you, Small Town Gifts. I appreciate it. Just your local friendly German. The more handsy, the better poker player you are. That is true, yeah. We're just having fun. We're chatting. We're talking story towards. We're doing trivia. A bunch of us knew how long a moment is. But then, you know, you get those whiny little guys. Oh, I'm here five hours. Didn't get silch. <laughs> I love this guy in story towards. I saw he was live so popped in. Awesome, eBay. So, and, you know, if we happen to win the big one, guess what? People have money invested and you get something. I think Lady Antiques Treasure is one of our bigger winners. Her and Sarah, both of these ladies. So I don't exactly remember, but I want to say, you know, two, three hundred dollars each on separate occasions. So super cool eBay. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like if I miss your questions, it's not because I'm ignoring them or don't want to answer them. Sometimes I just don't see them, especially if I get caught on enhanced. We have like four different streams going on. And it's always harder to see the messages, by the way, like on Facebook and Twitch. And uh, let's make a loose call. Facebook, Twitch, and um, what's the other one? Twitter. So don't be afraid. Ask again. I'll try to answer them. If I don't want to answer something, I flat out tell you guys, hey, I just don't want to answer that. Just the blinds. We had a big queen. Fold. Do I prefer to stream on YouTube or Twitch? Um, YouTube is easier for me to interact with my audience because I'm not really set up on Twitch. 
A benefit on Twitch is they don't really seem to have copyright issues where you can play music and stuff like this. Um, like when I play music, it's just for myself. Now you guys can't even hear it. Um, on YouTube, you can win money. So we do our money giveaways on YouTube. So, but you can be either way. How come my rocket soundtrack is not playing? Oh, I just found it. Okay, one more sound. Okay, I'm playing the Rocky soundtrack. You guys should not hear the music. This is just for me. It's funny you answered that question before reading mine. Thanks, Mr. Sadie. I appreciate it. Oh, I just missed a hand. I'm back. What was my last hand? Oh, well. Big flying. We got a hand we can defend. Okay, don't hear it. Okay, perfect. Scam caller. Fold. We got a hand we can defend a blind end. Okay, this guy raises a lot every time on the button. Last time I was queen five suited, so we're going to re-raise him. Let's go for 46,000. He calls. 42,000. He calls. What did he do this time with, like, king nine? Check. God, this guy's such a wide range of hand. Last time he had queen five was suited. Like he late raises literally every button. Okay, I'll check. I don't want to say what I have in case he's he goes all in. Shit. What's here? Backdoor flush got there. I got the ace. I got the wheel straight, so. <sighs> yeah, see, I have to, I have the ace. The problem is the flush beats me. The six beats me. I mean, this guy would do it with any two pair. These check players are like so aggressive. Call to flop. I mean, he could do it with ace too, so I'm putting my tournament on risk to chop. But what's up, Eric? But they're so aggressive. I mean, he knows he's not risking his tournament life. He might just try to take the pot off the pot, get 180,000. <sighs> Trying to represent the ace. Thinking that I wouldn't check the ace. Uh, I know the normal play is I got to fold, but I know that's a crappy player. And he, he might just try to steal it here. But backdoor flush. I mean, he likes betting suited cards. Or well, even if he raised something stupid like, you know, Jack Six, he would have got lucky on me here. <sighs> I'm gonna fold. It's 50 50, he's just bluffing. <sighs> it's not split. I know in a normal situation against a normal player, it's split at best. I mean, these guys are just like, these check guys are super aggressive. He could easily be bluffing on that. How much did I lose on that one? Like 40,000. I mean, the guy plays almost every hand. He raises every button automatically. He has a huge... He has a huge range of hand. Even if... I mean, if you make the backdoor flush, why bet all that? Doesn't really make sense, right? I mean, you want to get some kind of value in your hand. Even with the six, if I have the ace, you want to get some kind of value. Most likely, he has the same ace I'm chopping, or he has, um, 
most likely has the same ace. But even that, that'd be a stupid bet because if I'm slow playing a flush, I check, you go all in, I call. So, that's a, that's a big chance that's a bluff the more I think about it. It's a bluff or it has the same ace. The six, you gotta get some kind of value for your money. Or even the flush, if you have to flush, you gotta get some kind of value for your money there. And I need to go walk it off. I'm playing so scared. Such a bad player. I'll be back in a second. I made it pretty big on the flop. I mean, the only hand that kind of makes sense there, there's two hearts on the flop, and the guy loves suited cards, and he has a huge range. The only thing that makes sense there where he thinks he's good, because I'm not betting, so maybe he's not worried about the flush. <sighs> so, um... It, it makes sense if he has something like A6 of hearts. There's two hearts on the flop. I Because I made a bit, pretty bit, big bet, uh, flop bet. So either ace six of hearts or like an ace king. And an ace king he goes all in because he doesn't want me to call. He doesn't want to chop. And hopes I don't have to six or the flush. I'm slow playing. Uh so I guess that makes sense. Ace six of hearts. Or it's just a flat out bluff. All right, now we got half average, so we need to double up to get average stack. So we're probably gonna get a little bit more aggressive. Cause now my table Quill is super aggressive, Alpha is super aggressive, Tashi Stanama, whatever that is. What's the country stack? Russian Federation. This person right here is pretty tied. Note. Not super rock, but we're gonna put him like an orange. Oh, I like this. This is my pump up song. Rocky. <sighs> Rising up. A six. Oh, Rocky Vinyl is awesome. He was last to act. Yeah, he was last to act. It could have been a bluff for a split. I mean, I don't think he has to flush. You got to get something, I unless he's a bad play and there's just not a value bet or maybe things I overcall. But with a flush, you should get some value for your money. Even with a six, you should get some value for your money. I mean, the all I can see trying to overbet it with a six thinking that I'm betting like an ace king or ace something. 
And then he, he caught into the six and he's hoping that I'll call him with the ace. I never listened to it while bidding on storage lockers, but I listened to it a lot. See, he raises almost every hand in late position. I got 10-5 offsuit. Okay, I'm going to stop paying attention to more hands. I'm talking too much. You can ask me questions. I'll answer questions if you guys have questions. We'll do it. Actually, I said we're going to do a giveaway too, right? Two, three suited and a button we fold. I don't know. Maybe maybe he had a6 and lucked into the straight. He got me trapped. Let's see if we can get a trivia question going. I don't know. I don't know if people will call it at this level. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm a bad poker player. Play too tight. I don't know. All right, here's an interesting trivia question, folks. For 2%, what food aided in the production of bombs in World War II? What food aided in the production of bombs in World War II? That's an interesting one, too. Make sure you have an ACR account. If you haven't downloaded it, americascardroom.com, bonus code Renee. Bacon, John got it. Bacon, John McPhee. I jack six clubs at hand. John McPhee was the fastest, which is type 156, right? Somebody's fast on Google. Only bad news is that I'm not really building chips, but you have 6% so far. Bacon was to answer. Sorry, Heritage Auctions. Now go get that Twitter. Yes, make sure you guys are Twitter. Give me two minutes. Google is slow today. I know my internet is really slow too. <sighs> All right, come on. Let's get some aces or something with some action. Because now I'm the one at risk for knockout. How many big blinds do we have? We're playing with 38. That's not bad. Three, four suited. All right, we got some trouble hands now. When the down hands, you just gotta survive. You know, go through the go through the steps. What do you guys think? If I bust, should I rebuy on Sunday? Should I do another stream on Sunday? If I don't bust, I think it's either nine or ten at night.
I'm not throwing rock anymore. This is good. If you want to listen to a good concert, this is good. I also play Life Dealer Backgammon on ACR, and I've been killing the last couple of weeks. Feel like I'm stealing at this point. Oh, yeah, I love playing the Baccarat. Not Backgammon, Baccarat. Yeah, no, ACI has some really cool stuff out there. Now you jinx it. He's right. Shrek is right. You probably did jinx it. I play the Baccarat sometimes. It's fun. ACI is just a fun, good side. I also do the sports betting. So, it's a fun side. Why is the room not loading? Give me another one. My internet's not the worst today. All right, let's see a flap. We're gonna limp under the gun. You played a Kino, you hit for 2,800. That's awesome. What's up, Rudy? Welcome to the channel. Make sure if you guys want to win some of the money, some of the giveaways we're doing, make sure you have America's Card Room software. Go to the website, americascardroom.com. Download it. It's absolutely free. You get to play in the free rolls. They give away money every day, like three times a day, I think. And um, when you sign up, make sure to use bonus code Renee. Okay, I can't get the stupid concert to start. I feel frustrated about the last couple of hands. <laughs> That's the worst in poker when you um when you get frustrated. Don't get frustrated. And this guy makes ten times the blind and the big blind. A lot of I got Jack Ten of Spades. I would love to see a flop, but that would be a third of my chip. That would be pretty stupid. Even though this guy raises a lot of weak hands too. pocket pair awesome silver hair stacker great I'm against up against two loose players oh shoot I didn't realize he raced on the button I should have just re-raced all in mm. that's a small bet uh, I'm playing bad though Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Stupid spammer. <sighs> what happened last time? I, I'm assuming there was no flop, right? Let's see right here. This guy lost his internet connection, too. So last time when he bet 10 times blinds, he just got the blinds. The guy who has a huge range bets, bets, bets. Four, four, jack, flop. I feel like I'm playing bad now. Even a geezer can put out some content. Old geezers have good knowledge, buddy. They've been around for a long time. It's interesting content. This is 
Oops. Where is it from? United States. He calls. Okay, I'm going to call. Turn card Ace of Hearts. Small blind should check here. I check. Alpha probably will bet because he bets everything. Or he probably just bet lucky and hit the Ace. He checks Queen under River. King five, pocket deuces. I had pocket eights. I should just race pre flop. Damn. King five and small play. These guys are killing me. Playing so bad. <sighs> I have two hundred forty thousand in chips. Alpha race pocket deuces. Bet the flop and then we pull at king five of hearts. I just smooth called pre flop with eights. I should have raised it. Should have just went all in. He would have called me with his pocket deuces. I would have beat him. He's never laying on pocket deuces. He's a bad player. All right. Hey, this is. You guys want to hear some good music? Hey, you guys listen to this official video, 48,000. How do you race pre-flop? And that's the flop you keep on betting. I got a big, big ace. All right, I fold. Okay, guys, we had 186,000. These guys just keep on playing garbage hands. So now the strategy changes from we to folding away all in. God, I just got like edgy. I'm tilting. I must be tired. Why am I tilting? This is terrible. I don't tilt usually. All right. Okay, I'm alpha's in late position. If Tashi Castanas folds, fold. I'm gonna min raise it. I probably should just be all in. I'm stupid. Come on, cool. You play any two cards anyway. I am probably hungry. That's good thinking, Nancy. Hey, what's up, Nancy? I didn't see you. I just got here. Fold. I had a pocket pair of small sevens. You know, if he was going to make a small re-raise, I was going to go all in. Come back home. Ah, oh, this guy raises. He's pretty solid. All right, we're going to call the flop. If Alpha would race, I'm all in. Okay, so you guys want to hear some good music? Here, I was going to tell you this. Watch these guys. Official video, Kruger Brothers, Forever and a Day. I like it. Feel good music. Bet 16,000. All right. You know, that person is solid. Let's see. So he checks. 28,000. I 
fold. Okay, so this person played straight up poker. Mm -hmm. He did a little C bet. I had ace queen, so checks to turn to me. I gotta think. I gotta be good here. Or well, at least he doesn't have nothing he can call with. Or oh, I mean, he doesn't have ace king, so picked up a little bit. Jack five suited. Have to fold, even though my fish is betting. No, we don't show the music because copyright. I can't play it. So you have to go to your own YouTube and watch it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Casey's cooking us more food. Come back home to the ones that love you true. Come back home. Hey, do soft suit. My music is so diversified. Oh, Shrike could just put the link in. Like, it'll go to, like, heavy metal or symphonic metal to, like, bluegrass folk like this. The funny part about these, these three guys, so this is kind of like a bluegrass type of thing. Bluegrass folk, but they're, um, they're from Switzerland. Let me put it back over here so I don't bother you guys on the screen. All right, 250,000. <sighs> Eight five off suit fold. Feels like I'm not really getting any flops. Like the cards I get, I either don't get action. I either don't get action or I just like the only chips I'm making is kind of without playing. Oh, who knows? Maybe I'm just full of it. I'm getting outplayed myself. This is one of my favorite new songs. Makes me happy. Three, four, offsuit under the gun, fold. <laughs> On your way home, come back home. Come back home to the ones that miss you so. So, Shriker, did you listen to the song? You like it? Yeah, check out that specific video. They have a lot of cool stuff going on, but if you're first in the pond, you need to three bet. Yeah, check it out, Shrike. Let me know. I think it's cool.
Jack four suited. Well, let's see, maybe we can get a lucky flop. We have diamond, so that's not the suit. Defending the big five with Jack for suited. We have Ace Eight offsuit. Quill under this gun makes it eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Most likely doesn't have crap because huge range of hands. But we're gonna fold. This guy makes it fifty six thousand. That's such bad poker. Like you would think at this level of buy-in, that if you raise something under the gun, you can then stand a three bet, right? I mean, what hand can you possibly raise under the gun, and not stand a three bet? That's stupid. That's why I love online poker. Still a lot of suckers out there. There's almost no hand that I will raise under the gun that I cannot stand a three bet to at least see the flop, ever. Especially the guy with three betting was Weepu, which also showed a huge range of hands. I don't know if you guys are paying attention. All right, I think we'll listen to Aaron Lewis, Lost and Lonely. That's a good version, too. Oh, Steve Morton and the Kruger Brothers? We should see that. That'd be cool. King four suited next to the button. I don't know many players that will raise hands under the gun and not be able to stand a three bet. Unless it's against a super tight player, which Weepu definitely isn't. Actually, no, I don't want to listen to Aaron Lewis. I'm going to listen to the Steve Martin and the Kruger Brothers. Bind was This video will go on like half of the YouTube stuff is not working for me today. I need to fix my modem, I need to change it. <sighs> this guy just keeps on spamming us. Like, I'm like. We reported him already like so many times. Let's report him for child abuse too. Jack four off suit, we have to fold. God, we're card dead now. So we have to spam us clock. I don't think you should see. We haven't hidden from the channel, but somehow in chat, this stuff still comes out. But as soon as it goes, we close it right away. What up, NC Prospector?
queen three offsuit we have to fold. And one time I was playing out with this knife, and it was really late at night, and I was scratching my back. But I wasn't paying attention, I was going back, and I stabbed myself in the side of the head, like this big old gash bleeding like crazy. This knife is crazy. Actually, where's the stupid sheet for this? I'll put it over here on the side. It must be down there, it must have fell out. Uh, all right, we're going to do another giveaway after the next break. No, that was very smart. Yeah, I was like late at night. I was like, just cut. It took like a week to heal, man. I was like, all cut open. That's what Casey said. Alright, ace suited, let's limp under the gun. I want to win. How does one win? <laughs> A typical wife answer. We do we do trivia questions. I'll explain it around the next trivia questions. And it, it, whenever we bust somebody, we'll do the giveaway. What's up, Matthew? We're going to say in a few minutes how you win. I think Shrike is going to put it up. Most important thing, go to americascardroom.com, download the software. It's completely free. You get to play in free cash tournaments and use bonus code Renee. Come back home. I look tight as I am tight a little bit. I've been working a lot. I have a lot of stuff going on right now. I got like all these different sponsorships. I do stuff for the show. I have a lot of stuff going on. And then one guy annoyed me earlier. was complaining that we should up our giveaways. It's because he hasn't won anything in five hours. I'm like, then if you're here just for the money, go away. And I got some really bad hands of poker. That's mid bed here. We had ace rag, but suited, so we flopped an ace. A little sum sum. Yeah, so the trivia, so each trivia question, basically, we give away 10% of whatever we win on the cash out at the end for the prize finish. And then that 10% is going to get split up in 100 shares, and each trivia question is two shares. You can also go to Twitter and retweet our Twitter, like it, and comment the same way we comment. And um, that's worth five shares, 5%. And then also, okay, I'm going to defend the blind here with a trap hand. Let me hit a trap hand. Ah. Just check it. Don't see bet. Because you always see bet. Just check it. You know that's not what you raised. 
God, if I had many, but I should just check race this fully because I know he didn't race this unless he has an overpair. But I'm running bad. So I had five dues of spades, a trap hand, fold. I probably would have won just by raising that though, but I am running bad. He probably flopped a set of tens. But he probably has like ace king, ace queen, ace jack, bets to see bet, and then gets two free cards. And then also, whenever we bust somebody, which is not looking likely right now because we have loan chips, but if we do bust somebody, we give away $25 on any bust right then and there. But honestly, this tournament's not looking so good for us right now. If it gets to heads up, my head, head is actually pretty strong. It's blind versus blind. But most likely, Alpha's raising in late position anyway. Unless he has complete garbage. Oh, this guy's disconnected. Come on, let's just play poker. Renee's getting tired. So, what's the next break coming up? Should we do another trivia after the break or before? Let's see how far it's away. Okay, next break is it's at 12 minutes. So, against the blinds, let's see a flop. This guy likes raising a lot too. Of course, he raises. All right, let's see a flop. Check. With king eight, we have to fold. Easy game, just bet against Renee. It's very easy. He never hits a bolt or a flop or a hand. Alright, NC Prospector. So we'll do another giveaway. Let me see what does it say. Oh, next break, 17 minutes. You know what? We'll do one in two minutes. Two to three minutes, unless we get some hands. So you guys get a chance. If you haven't, go to America's Card Room, download the software, bonus code Renee. We find a trivia question. I'm home tonight. Well, he got it all in with King-10. And he hits a king. <laughs> That's not fair. That's like the third time Shipfast got it in bad. <laughs> and each time he sucked out. But what to say? Better lucky than good, right? Uh, let's see a flop. All right, trivia question. Oh, that's interesting. Against the two loose players. Queen 10 suited. 
have so little chips that you want to make a bet against. And these guys have such huge ranges of cards. Can you bluff at it? Uh, life of the short stack. 3-5 suited versus fold. Okay. Um, two percenter, even though it's becoming less and less value. What popular children's toy was originally used to clean wallpaper? What popular children's toy was originally used to clean wallpaper? Slinky? Nope. Blado. That's right. Blado. Ladies Antique Treasure was the fastest with Play-Doh. I am Rue. I am Rue got it. Play-Doh was the fastest, followed by John McPhee. Smile Time Gift was wrong. Nancy and Play-Doh. And then Smooth JJ. Ladies the fastest again. The fastest fingers in the West is Lady Antiques. Unfortunately, we're really low stacked, so unless we get a little run, but you know what? Double up, double up, and we'd be like at six, seven hundred thousand. <laughs> Brian just answered the question from like, I get that joke, 90 seconds. That's funny, Brian Bernie. That's a question we asked like two hours ago. Remove? No, it says clean. That's how the question is phrased in a trivia question. Chip in a chair, chip in a chair. That is the truth. Maybe we can make one of these big comebacks where you guys are like, remember when Renee was really low and then he just totally came back and then he got it to like 2 million and then day two he just played really good and got lucky and it worked out. <laughs> two out is so sick. Queen's busted. That's sick. God, that was an overcut after two of king and he gets it in with tens. Did they get it all in pre-flop? Let me see. I wasn't paying attention. I need to play the food. Where's Casey? Where's lunch? Huh? Yeah, and I came in second. I'll take it. Uh, my replay button is not working. He said, clean, my brain cells must fire. <laughs> it's okay. That was a good guess. I'm just guessing every time. It's okay. It's fun, right? Am I even on the list? I don't think you're on the list yet. I don't think you want any questions yet. Then ACL will get you clipped while eating. I don't think they're clipping me today, so I'm safe. They're like really focusing on the bros right now. So I can't eat and drink. Yes, give me aces a few times. Let me get paid. Actually, I'm down to 177,000. I can almost not afford to see flops anymore. I just got to go for it or don't go for it. 10-5 off suit. Not going to be defending the blind with that. Ten and five off suit. Even though you have a huge range, we can't play. It's funny the people that win like all play all these crazy hands are like just winning. I'm playing the wrong hands.
How how often do you shove? Not that often. I try to play smart poker. Now I have to shove because I'm low stacked. But I try to play smart poker, you know. I mean, you know, these guys get it in with tens versus queens and hit two outers. Guy got in early with like king seven versus king queen. When the guy flops two pair, he gets running sevens. Five, six, seven off. So I try to play good poker, but <sighs> six, seven. See, I should have shuffled this crap hand. I'll probably go all in with ace king suited. Six, seven. Damn. Why did it defend the blind dead? That would have been a good one. And he raises. <coughs> I mean, I should be good here, especially. Jack five offsuit in the button up to fold. Queen seven off suit, we have to fold. <coughs> you know, shoving all the time pre flop is not really good poker if you have chips. It's more if you're low stacked in a PKO tournament because I'm going to get a wide range of action. Actually, a better strategy is to see more flop, shove less, and play post flop poker. <coughs> What am I drinking? It's called Soul Ale. It's uh, bubble water. Club soda favorite, uh, flavored sparkling water beverage. And this is cucumber melon. King eight off suit. Okay, you guys are now participating in the let's hold on, let's be patient, let's hope for hand to come in, let's hope to see some jacks, queens, kings, or aces, even a pair. You know what aces will probably try to trap. Take our chances.
<clears throat> I can see too the, the, the number of viewers is going down over the different platforms depending on our chip stack. Whoa, that's okay. Two six off suit, not much we can do here. Flip your chip. This one now. Thousand, eighty thousand. Okay, under the gun, we must get a pretty strong hand. Queen nine off suit fold. Uh, I feel defeat creeping up. <coughs> Twenty bucks. Yeah. <coughs> Guess good time to practice. Yeah, it smells like Casey's cooking curry. I must be hungry. It's, um, I guess, good time to practice short stack poker. Penang curry is good. I like yellow curry. Casey orders Penang sometimes. I like all curries though. Not a big pot. Yeah, this guy's like raising every hand now, Mama Do. I have eight three off suit. Fold. And he folds. Alright, big blind gave us eight three off suit. Let's see. Oh we have to go to break. I don't want to so short stacked. All right, I want to walk it off. Maybe we'll go on this break and we come back and just get a rush of cards.
Maybe, right? Somebody has to get one. Might as well be us. Waiting. All right. Okie dokie. Oh shoot! I hope you guys can't hear the music. Get a copyright strike. Uh, how's the game going? Not so good. We're down to 147,000 in chips. That's okay. Five hours is a long drive. Next time.
All right, minute 36, 147,000. We're about to get the uh, button or small blind. I don't know which is the last one it was. So are you doing well on eBay? How does it feel right now not having a store? I'm not having a store. I mean, it's sometimes funny when you wake up. If I'm not filming, I'm like, all right, I don't have to be anywhere. I can just, you know, it's like when I used to be young, where I'm like, eh, get up. You know, sometimes, like, you know, the girls go to sleep, and I'll list, like, I did 66 auctions with all the Lego stuff, like, at nighttime after they went to sleep. So, you have a lot more freedom than having a store, which is nice. <clears throat> you know, even though we had employees and stuff and managers, there's always issues when you have a store, or, like, you have to be there or get something done. Now I don't. Um, so, it's different. Yeah, eBay's doing well. I mean, I have all kinds of different investments going on. I have a lot of sponsorships, so, you know, storage wars, obviously. So, I have a lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> How many big blinds do we have left? Like 18 now? 18 big blinds. Let's change our avatar to let's cry because we're low cash. We're crying. What's up, Bob on Facebook? Bob Sushoki. Sushoki. All right, small blind. We have K8 offsuit. <clears throat> Casey made me a little snack. Thank you. You're I got cheese and pepperoni and potatoes with salt and pepper and some pork. Tomatoes, not potatoes. Tomatoes. Chicharrones. Tomato, tomato. What are chicharrones? Um, Memphis style or something. Spicy stuff. And we have chicken and rice. Huh? You don't have to do those today. We'll do it tomorrow. Oh. So. No. So I have to go to White House. No. Mm -hmm. Are we playing poker tonight? I sent a text that said I didn't want to play tonight. I know now I'm eating. I should get something big. But I don't even have a pair. Alright. We're eating. And we got a pair and a button. All right, we only got 136,000. We're going to go all in with a pair. That's my first all in, so unless the guy's a month, they should just fold. But I feel a lot of people, why well, this guy re raises all in? Huh. Ace, King, Wars, or Sixes will flip. Of course he hits the Ace. Why wouldn't he? Huh. And we out. That was fun. All right, guys, we tried. We got it all in with a flip at least. Didn't work out. Yeah, I went out in with pocket sixes. I'm not re-entering. Maybe we'll play Sunday again. Bam, bam, bam. Stopping the stream. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back Sunday. End stream.